Maybe not. This game is very funny. Yeah, Maybe. I'll start a new character. All right. So, so we're gonna start with from you my. You talk to chat. I'm gonna go set everything up. Okay. okay? So are, am I pulling you into my game, or you? Yeah. Whatever's easiest. Okay. All right. We'll do cooperation. Okay, chat. So uh, I can't see what you're saying to me yet. So give me one moment, and uh, then I will be able to. If you don't know what this game is, it's fun. And uh, it is uh, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. It is essentially a sequel to Borderlands, but it's a fantasy version because back in Borderlands 2, they made a DLC episode where you one of the characters has your character play basically Dungeons and Dragons with them, and then you go into the game. And that's what this is. So it's basically a full, full game, eight game version of that. And uh, so the characters are talking to you and, you know, it's, uh, you'll see. So it's basically like you're still playing as a, uh, someone playing a role-playing game. Um, so let me get chat up so we can, you guys can tell me what I should do here. Uh, I think I'm going to be, what have I not been as a main class yet? Ooh, could do that, could do that. Let's do this. Well, I'm going to be a claw bringer. A, a border, a faceless Borderlands YouTuber? No. You, you know I'm not a game YouTuber because every game YouTuber I've ever watched to get like tips or something, they're always British. Always. Why is that? It's like, hey, everybody, thanks for, I can't do a British accent. Good evening, everybody. Thanks for coming out. Uh, the, here's a, my video about where to find all the hidden packages in Grand Theft Auto. That's a way fancier than the kind you get doing that, but anyway, you get it. Okay, so we're gonna go, I'll probably just go with the preset for now so we don't have to take too long. <laughs> okay, let's do, let's see. Most of them are pretending to be British? Okay, so the video game YouTubers that are British are faking it? Oh, I should be a fucking dwarf. Hello. All right, we're gonna go, I'm gonna be a lady dwarf. Okay. We're gonna go with they, them pronouns? Yeah. Dwarf cooter, dwarf cooter. Uh, Reggie's so funny how that's, uh, okay. Oh, we already did that. Moving on, moving on, moving on. Facial features, head shaped orbit, skin color. Let's go a little different. Let's get some melanin in the mix here, huh? I'd like to do that with my game. Oh, that's the absence of melanin exhumed, like a zombie type. Let's do, yeah, that's right there. I like that. All right. Oh, yeah, I got, like, different stuff now. Hmm. Obviously, I should be this. <laughs> right? Should I be this? I think I should be this, right? Wait, is it blackface if I'm a white guy and decide to make my character black? Isn't that okay? I think it's okay, right? I mean, we did it in the movie. We did. <laughs> no, there, there's I people calling me virtual today. blackface. It was like, okay. <laughs> I kind of like this without without facial hair. What about just this little mustache? Okay, that's I like that. Okay, let's pick out a good hair color. Yes, yes. We're doing this quickly, but also I'm really digging this entire situation. So the nose is good. I like the nose. Mouth, we're going to do... Sexier heart shaped lips. Ooh. There we go. Lower lip size. Isn't there like makeup? Oh, that's later. Okay. Eye symmetry. Oh, okay. Eyebrows. Bushy. You can't even tell the eyebrows between this ridiculous head of hair they have. So, whatever. Uh, <laughs> eyelashes long. Okay. Uh, eye shape. There we go. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> no, that's too much. That's too much. Th these ones, ooh, that's kind of weird. Uh, let's go with those. All right. Um, what do you, I color. Timmy is gone. Am I gone? What? Oh wait. People are saying I'm gone. Did you get rid of me? Oh, what that happen? Um. Where's your sound? Yeah, I got my sound on. Cool. Uh, well, when they get me back, they're gonna. I'm gonna have some good shit going on here. Oh, what? What the heck? <laughs> That's weird. Sam is all we need. That person's off my Christmas list. Are you getting fans Christmas stuff? <laughs> all right, here we go. How should we organize this? Should we do like a skinny screens or? I don't know, man. Um, I'm not looking at the stream right now. I guess it could be. Let's see, chat, what do you think? Skinny screens? Side by side. Um, I would probably... Oh, so you're showing mine. Okay. So... Okay. So they're seeing horizontal skinny, somebody says, but it'd be horizontal great if we skinny? could just get your... I mean, can't we do... Should we just do my... Do we not need to look at my video screen, or no? You want people to see both of us? I mean, if we just want you on my screen, we can just do me or just that. do you. It doesn't matter. To but me. that, if if we want to just do you, just change the OBS scene to not have your game in it. What do you mean? I mean, do we just want to do my or game not, or just your game or yeah, yeah, have both game screens? If if we so. just want to do my screen, okay. Uh, just make the zoom just have your face. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Should we just do that? We can just do that. And then uh, people will be surprised when they see my character. Although they, they do, uh, I think they like watching me pick the details, but that's okay. I'm almost done. Um, I'm past the exciting part. Uh, okay. Well, here, so, we'll, we'll keep it, we'll keep it split screen for well, wait, the... it's gonna be split screen anyways, soon anyways. So. Oh, really? You can see split screen when... When you're can't you? Oh wait, no, you can't. No, you can't. That'd be couch co-op. I'm sorry. Yeah. So what do you think? Should we just do? We can just do just my. That'd we'll be... just do this. Well, let's just keep it this way until you have your thing set up and you're ready. Okay, to which only be another few minutes. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. 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 All right. Here we go. Uh, okay. I think I'm gonna do. You know what? This is. Ooh, that's a cool. Also, it must be said, I've played pretty far, or not pretty far, but somewhat far-ish with my other characters, so that means I have more options and more things, and, uh, you know, so I can make this character look pretty fucked up right off the jump here, so, ooh, this is, uh, this is great. Okay, so, uh, there we go. All right, so I'm going to be, what am I going to be? What did I pick? Shit, uh, did I pick the dragon one? I think I did. Okay, so uh, let's see here. I'm joining your group. You're joining my group? Yeah. Wait, now it makes me want to. It's having me create a new player. What? 
Oh really? Cause I'm cause I'm in new game. Oh, maybe. We're gonna do something different right here. Should I just make a character really quick while you're making? Well, now you're coming through. Now your audio is coming through my game, uh, and it's all fuzzy. Hello? So I should mute you. Yeah. Can you hey, hear me? It's through my through my. Yeah, I'm gonna mute you. There's somebody else. Are there two people in here? I think Who's it's this? through. Oh, oh my Nate's in controller. here. Oh. What? Uh, Nate's in here. Uh, don't remember inviting him. <laughs> okay. Should I mute you? I can mute you. Yeah, mute me. With pleasure. <laughs> okay, uh, I want to do, uh, I don't want to do that one. Okay, I'll go with this one. Okay. I could do with a change. My Wait, can I not hear Sam at all then? Oh, I can hear you now. Okay. My pronouns are they, them in this game. Yeah, you can change them. I think I made this one a they, them. I should show you the other... <laughs> the character I have with my daughter, the design on that character is fucking crazy i mean this one's pretty crazy too so um uh trevor's sister made her character look like a picasso painting which is pretty cool i was playing with her and her husband the other night that's what i did on trevor's birthday i me and his sister played video yeah games. i wanted to join you guys but i uh, know then we were done and you know what we did the most time we played is like her husband ran around did quests and me and Lila's characters just stood there while we talked about stuff. <laughs> nice. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, what do we call this character? Chat? What do I call my character? Should we do fuck? Or is that too sad? My my other guy's Bobo. I keep on making Bobo. It is Bobo? Chill, man. That's awesome. My other guy. Someone said, El Delphat says, Frim Wil Wimder. <laughs> Queen B. I like Queen B. I might go with Fut. How about we do Futster? No, that's stupid. How about Butt Fuckerson? <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> uh, I'm just doing Fut. Fuck it. This one's for you, Big T. He probably hate my design, but it's okay. He doesn't like magic, even though he was a goddamn wizard. Okay, so, uh, I'm ready. Waiting for other players. Oh, so you guys are all making new characters right now. Yes? I, I am. Uh, I, I can't hear Nate, by the way. Are you, uh, how do we get Nate's audio? I gotta get it through mine? This is my game. Is that what doing? He's level zero graveborn, so he's making a new one, too. This is gonna be cool. Whoa. He's not muted. I could kick him. Uh, I wouldn't do that. But I mean, do you hear him? No. Oh, weird. I muted you on the game chat, because obviously I don't need to hear that. Uh, and I should probably wear my headset. But, you know, he had headset problems uh, last weekend. Margaret and I were trying to play with him. Chad, if you're saying you can't hear Nate, nobody can hear Nate. He might not even have Mike going. I don't know. It doesn't look like he's trying to talk. Is this game good? I've never played a Borderlands game. Well, while Sam's getting ready, I'll fill in people on my... Uh, I uh, played Borderlands 1 and liked it. Played Borderlands 2 and ended up playing it a lot with a friend who is a, a fan friend. The whitest kids we met... Uh, out of a show outside of Philly, I think. Um, somewhere around there. Anyways, uh, she and I became buddies, and we beat Borderlands 2 all the way through a couple times, I think, all the DLC and stuff. So I just became a... I love Borderlands 2 a lot. And I was doing stand-up at a show in Minneapolis. Where I saw a guy with a Gearbox hat on and talked to him. I'm like, oh, my God, I love Gearbox. I love Borderlands. And he's like, oh, me and my brother designed all the guns for Borderlands 2. I was like, oh, my God, you're like a celebrity to me. 
So I ended up becoming friends with this guy. And then when Whitest Kids were in Dallas at a show uh, six months later or something, uh, a bunch of the Gearbox staff came there. And I went to their office the next day, just hung out and met them. And I got to play test the uh, one of the DLCs from Borderlands 2. I found a glitch. Um, and then I ended up going to their like community day thing they did a few months after that, which was like a kind of like they throw their own convention just for themselves. It was a lot of fun accidentally hit on the wife of the guy who created Gears of War, and so I'm lucky to be alive. And uh, it was a, it was a fun Wait. time. They, yes! Didn't I tell you that story? You're, yeah. lucky, you're, you're lucky to be alive because you hit... Uh... Well, because that, that guy's like powerful in the end. He's powerful. Cliffy B, he's powerful. Is she he, was telling me about the Oculus Rift. He Rift, made, and I guess he he was made a video that. game. Yeah, but he's like a, he's supposedly like a, like a scary dude. I don't know, man. Anyways, <laughs> this party, this whole convention thing, the, the most important part of this was, so they had an after party late at night, and the the DJ, they had a dance party, and the DJ was the, uh, he used to be the DJ for Cypress Hill, so that was pretty fucking cool that he was there. And um, anyways, so after the after party, we go to the hotel, it's like two or three in the morning, they had a full <laughs> breakfast buffet set up, and I thought that was the most brilliant thing I've ever seen at an after party. Nice. Over the sheet. It said, "Draw your hero." Oh, I get an echo on the game audio. There's no way to fix that. I guess I can just turn down mine. It says your starter sword does. Are you hearing my game audio? Yeah, I'm hearing your game audio. Oh, here, I'll, I'll, I think I can fix okay. that. I'm just going through your mic. It's okay. No, it's not going through mine. Oh, hey. Okay. Nate is alive, and his headset works. He's just not talking right. You're watching our show. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can hear you through. There's a lot going on. It's okay. Anyway, so yeah, so that was an amazing breakfast uh, thing, and then I left. So then, while I went, when I met the Gearbox staff from the was in the stu was at their office and stuff, I I heard tell of a development of a fantasy game. At the time, what I heard about was not going to be a Borderlands game, but the, this is clearly from what I was told back then this is clearly what that game is and as a big fan of the borderlands stuff so far i really really love this so that's all i have to say the maker it. of uh, gods of war will kick your ass no gears of war gears of war oh. no it's just he's like a big deal that's, and i'm not meaning he's gonna kill me i mean he's like powerful like oh okay. can ha hide a body powerful you know what i mean that's what i meant it's not like i'm not saying i don't know if he's got like muscles but I also don't, so it doesn't take a lot of muscles to kill Timmy, me. Timmy's living in this Will Smith world where violence <laughs> is the only solution. <laughs> I told Cliffy B, I said, you keep Borderlands' name out of your mouth. Um, but no, it was like I'm being silly about that. But I was like talking to this lady, and she was cute, and I was kind of like hanging out with her at the like near the bar. And then I found out that was his wife. I was like, oh, wow. I mean, because that just seems someone who's a, who at least could disappear. Me, like nobody cares about me, you know. Like, I think you got to do more than talk to his wife to get disappeared. Well, I'm saying, well, obviously, you know, you got to get her to the late night breakfast bar at the at the least, you know. So who's this? Who who am I running around with? That is Nate. Sam, are you in here? Uh, I'm running around. Oh, you are. Okay, cool. Where are? You? Maybe I'm, I'm not... behind Nate. We're running over the rooftops like a couple of parkour friends. Oh, I see you guys. All right, cool. So you didn't get very far, so you're... Uh, uh, this game gets pretty crazy. And you actually get to a point later where you get to pick a second class, which is fucking awesome. And what they did that I think... Nate just fell off a cliff. <laughs> so he's dead. Uh, oh. That's weird. I, that's like a de delay on mine. You have a delay? I mean, like, you said Nate just jumped off a cliff, and then I watched him go run over to that cliff and jump off. <laughs> I spoiled it for you. I don't need this headset on. Why am I wearing it? Okay. If Nate's not going to talk, or I can hear you, I'm getting red licorice. Mm. Oh, God. Okay. Sam's graphics are infinitely better. Sam, what are you playing on? PS5? PS5, yeah. I'm on Xbox One, so, you know. 
I'm keeping it old school. So should, uh, should I, I? I'll take over. Yeah, do that. That's a great idea. Yep. So then we just put my video up, right? Yeah, just just put your. All right, so we'll have Timmy. Yeah, I can hear you through my, uh, uh, do you want me to invite you to the Zoom? One thing my daughter and I do when we play is watch each other slide. You watch me, Sam? Okay. Right. Ready? Oh, Wee! Okay. That's weird. <laughs> That's why that was doing that. Okay, and now here we go. He looks more fluid, but with a dirty Nate-like echo. I'm probably coming through the game audio, too, huh? Uh, no, oh, no, I don't have my headset. Nate is talking through my my controller. And okay. so some people, that Nate-like echo is okay. just him talking through my controller. But he's not is really my saying audio, much. Is my audio okay? Because my mic is uh, far away from me. You sound okay to me. Can you say something again? Say something. Um, yeah, what I think should I clear. say? I should say that... Timmy. I, what? You want no, me to keep it, talking? I was I'm talking sorry. to Nate on the controller. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I was gonna start talking about Ed Sheeran. You guys want to talk about Ed Sheeran? <laughs> I wasn't really. Wait, no Timmy gameplay? Well, I mean, I'm in Sam's game. Nate, uh, if you want to talk, I you should come into the Zoom. This steel Head towards the Zoom. Was meant for me. Love a good act. Wait, did I get a weapon? Oh god, did I not get a weapon? I do have a weapon. Okay. Dude, my character is so fucking silly looking. Sam, look at me so they can see me. Because some people were watching you play together, so... Okay. Let's go fuck some shit up! The dialogue in this game is very funny, and I like that they got Sam. They got someone from your show on it. They got yeah, uh, Wanda Sykes. They got Andy Samberg. And Andy Samberg, yeah. Uh, so my daughter, who is a big fan of Take and Seek, uh, when we started playing this, she doesn't know anything else about Wanda Sykes. It's not like she was watching a lot of old stand up or or curb your enthusiasm, right? So when we started watching this, my daughter was like, oh, it's never time. I'm like, yeah, isn't that chill? She's like, yeah. And then, you know, the bad guy in this is Will Arnett. So she was stoked that Lego Batman was also in it. You should kid, uh, you know, people have your daughter do some Tig and Seek fan art. And I can... <gasps> That's a fucking great idea. And I can have... I can send it to Mike and he'll post it. Oh, my God. That is such a good idea. And she's a pretty good drawer. Is that how you say that? So, uh... Artist? <laughs> Sure, well, I've heard the color of art. Um, although, I mean, girl held it together during the puke apocalypse, and also her singing voice is pretty good. Like, I was impressed because, and I know it's like, oh, you're her dad, of course. Yeah, sure, but I was actually liked her even more than I am supposed to, because I was like, wow, she's like, um... Even more than you're supposed to. Well, even though, well, you know, at the dad level, was like, she's great, no matter what. But, like, she actually was yeah. good. And I was like, wow. Uh, <laughs> I like that there's, there's like a level, though, like it tops off. Like, any more than this, you're, you like it oh, you're a little weird. too much. Right, but the thing is, <laughs> it's just that, so, you know, when you're in fifth grade and you're singing, most kids, boy or girl, have this soft, high-pitched voice when you're a kid, you know, like that. Yeah. And when she sings, she sings, like, her own voice, and she's singing, like, you know, it was like, it, it was like more real singing. And you don't hear that a lot with with the other kids, so you know. I'm sure if you're in like a place where other people live, like LA, and there's kids who are really getting chances to use their talent, you probably hear more kids that can sing that well. I mean, I, I, I my cousin, I went and saw my right. cousin's uh, high school just put on Matilda. She is for senior arrival and left a 
And uh, it was funny because, like, also it's like, like her, her other. Uh, Wait, I missed that. What about Matilda? They put on Matilda, okay. and then like the the other people in the play were like. Uh, Wait, there's guns and fantasy. Um, uh, What's his name? Colby Smolder and uh, Taryn Killiam's kid. Okay. Uh, I didn't know there were a title. All right. It was. It was fucking great though. Like it's funny. It's all these like little like actor kids who like. Uh Are like really good at singing. They don't dress like Euphoria, and they are like. Clearly hey, in high that? school, thought, whereas Euphoria Sammy, is like, oh, these are clearly twenty. I, I haven't watched Euphoria, but I saw your your you tweet about it once, uh, kind of saying that like the first season was like about the black character and the trans character. And now it's kind of focusing oh. on just the, the white girl. Who is the who is the? Is that it's the uh, uh, Judd Apatow's daughter. <laughs> is Sydney Sweeney Judd Apatow's daughter? Go break some bones. Fish. No, Who, no. Who's the main character? Oh, it's somebody else. I thought that blonde uh, girl was the main character. Okay. No, the I mean, what's her name is the main character. Zendaya is the main character. She's still the main character. Okay. Uh, there, uh, there's just a lot of uh, Maude Apatow this season. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> is it about nepotism in Hollywood at high school or no? No. It's about drug addiction and. But. Uh, being fucked up. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because we never got any. We 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 don't have enough material about like this poor white person's addicted to drugs. No, I mean, she's not. She, I mean, she, and it was just a joke I was making. Like, it's oh, okay, so it's not really like a, a serious criticism. Okay, I thought you were saying they like sideline everybody for the for the producers. No, it's just something I noticed. Was like, oh, like. It's like, yeah. Well, you know me; I'm always ready to hate shit. But uh, <laughs> it's good. It's a good show. Yeah, I should check it out sometime. I'm sure I would like it. I'm so bad at watching TV shows. I just Ooh, am. You found a war. That's like so. A if you know about Borderlands out. games, it's funny because, and I don't know if you heard the characters talk about it right now since we we're talking, but um. Like so, there's still guns, and they just kind of explain them away. Like, oh, these are uh, air- they shoot arrows, you know. And but later on, you just have guns and rocket launchers. But then, like the shields or wards. So it's really just Borderlands in fantasy setting, but fucking works. All right, what are we doing? Uh oh. Uh, we have to blow up these rocks. Well, you can jump around and get treasure. Am I going too fast? I'm sorry. No, no. no, no. I'm just running. Okay, cool. Without explosives! Victory! I never lost hope. Ahead, you hear the roar of raging fire and the clackety clackety of bones! We're here to save the village! Ooh, the village is already ransacked and crawling with skilly. Sam, did you play the other Borderlands games? The village. Uh, some. Okay. Because I don't even know, have you played enough of this to even determine, like, if you like it? <laughs> no, I have not played. I, I mean, like, the thing is, too, is, like, this game is, like, fucking, uh, Sesame Street Elden Ring. How far is difficulty? Uh, yeah, and just or like just the, 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 the style and like so right. much of this is about like, like just the design and stuff like that. And it's like, oh, this is fun for like a, like, yeah, definitely like the, the strength of this is the co-op stuff. Yeah. But, you know, they do, but they, like, it gets into, a, like, the story is actually pretty good and stuff, but yeah, they definitely, but still just the same Borderlands style, which is all over the top and colorful, and, you know, everybody's, like, every, every character is, like, over the top and oh, there goes more echoing. Everybody's... 
Oh, it's for fucking Someone babies. Yeah, it's for babies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, I had a tweet I was proud of the other day. Uh, uh, it was a long one, but that just reminded me of it. Was uh. Save her pissin' ass. Uh. Wait. Let's see. Uh, it was imagine you're a ninja, and that like you yes. you, you never really get out, but you're training all the time, and finally you get out and you go to a movie, and you go see uh, that there's a movie that uh it's called Three Ninjas, and you go see, you're like so excited to go see it, and then you find out it's just a bunch of fucking babies. <laughs> They're saying we lost Timmy? What does that mean? A what? No, Timmy's still there on screen. I think you're a little I high. don't see. Oh, you know what? I joined and it fucked up your shit. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Joined the That'll Zoom. Be the okay. Can you turn my thing off because I'm not... Let's see. Doing stuff? Here, we'll do this, actually. Since we're both not... All right, cool. Sorry. We'll get a more. I think we this we can get more high def Timmy this way. I was joining to tell Timmy to not watch Euphoria. My uh. Why? My camera's my camera is zoomed in. Maybe maybe do I you, should. Do you not like Euphoria? No, no, it's it's not. I love Euphoria, but I feel like the only way I wouldn't like it is if I had like a, a daughter. daughter. Yeah, true. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah. And it's like girls making horrible decisions. Yeah. It's the scariest thing. It's it's like a horror so show. The thing is, I should watch it. I should watch it with my dog. Uh, I don't even. I'm so the opposite of a parent. Right. I, I couldn't even tell you if that's a good idea or not. I'm sure. It's <laughs> but we want, you know, I showed her Fury Road, and like, I think that's a great R action movie for younger girls to watch too, because. Yeah, you know, it's a lot of great girl characters and stuff, and it's a fucking rad movie, you know. Oh, definitely don't watch Euphoria with your daughter. That's what I was saying. It's like <laughs> there's a lot of drugs, there's a lot of sex, there's a lot of violent stuff. Right, so she'll never want to do any of that shit, right? There's so a I lot of watch bad it with parents. Her. Yeah, I don't know. So it could be will... considered bad parenting to show it to her. <laughs> you will like come out looking great. Like there is that. Hey, look, I'm not a piece of shit like all these guys. <laughs> You're like, this is what. I'm, I'm guessing there's really. Like. Are there gross parents that do horrible things to their kids? Thank you for saving me. Probably. Why don't we just. We'll, we'll shoot skeletons and you guys explain. Just give me a rundown of the first two seasons of the HBO series Euphoria. Well, it's only two seasons. Right. Um, True, though, right? Because they'll be able to make more. Or is it done? Did they all die? Again? Uh. <laughs> Inside a crypt. I don't know. The They're very different. Place. I don't know, Sam. What do you think? Uh, well, all the kids die at the end of Euphoria. No, they don't die. My peasant is killing me. Are you guys ready? Should we open this gate and fight some skeletons? I just oh. turned on my ability. I just got a new ability. Well, Did you guys upgrade your ability? ability yeah, we just leveled. You should get a, you gotta you add the points to it. Oh, I got a badass oh, hammer. Oh, Billy. Yeah. Oh, the hammer thing is cool, dude. Have, Have you, you played that? Uh, <laughs> Neither. Are you yeah. far enough on your other character to do two classes yet? I just unlocked the second class. What did you do? Uh, I haven't picked yet. The hammer thing is cool because if you get ha uh, far enough, huh? you can throw the hammer as a, as a yeah. second ability. Huh? Uh, so you are, you're the dragon guy for your first, the dra whatever it's called, scale. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm like a goth chick. Okay. I don't know what the class is called. My, I made, uh, I, have a, I have an orcish bers berserker who I've made into also his second one is the Graveborn. So he's like a, because that has a lot of like funneling other things into your health. Okay, and that's why I picked the barbarian this kind of build, you know. So I'm going with like melee and it's pretty awesome. Then the Can other you hear me? Is this is, mic work? Huh? Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you great, yeah. All right. I can. I was playing games earlier, and I, my friend said it was not good. Oh yeah, Dad, no, tell us about Nick and his voice. Oh god, I just broke this 
freezing barrel onto myself. Oh, I figured out how I can get a boat. Cool. On your Twitch stream? No. On, uh... Borderlands? I'm, pl I'm playing on PC. Yeah, I know you could, like, get emotes, but I didn't know yeah, how to do them. I don't know how to them. use mine either. I've unlocked a bunch. I had to hold down start and then move. And what? There, I, I just sat down. Sick. Oh, you know what? I bet it's on the D-pad. I've never used the no place for the week. I had to hold down start and then move the left stick. Hmm. Oh, I wish it would show you what your character is named instead of your username. Yeah, yeah that'd be cool. I wonder What's if your character that. name? Mine? Yeah. Um, clitoris? <laughs> Did I tell you guys about when uh, chat helped me build a Fallout 1 character like last year sometime after Zucchini Boys? <laughs> The really dumb one? The yeah, they're like, make yeah. the girl really, really dumb. So I made like a really dumb lady character. I love I like, for a while. class, yeah. Then I, didn't, then I didn't play it for a while, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to make a new character, and I'm going to make a lady, but I don't want to make it dumb. I feel like, you know, I feel like that might be construed as mean by some people. So I'll, I, I want to make like a, a little more respectful lady character. So I did. I made like a normal lady character. Forgot to name her, so then when I got into the game, her name is none. <laughs> like, like, okay, so you still N O N E? <laughs> huh? N O N E? Yeah, yeah, like none. <laughs> yeah, uh, not like, like N U N. She has no Oh, no, not that'd be also weird, but yeah. it'd be weird if a game defaulted to that. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, dude, I think a dwarf like person is great for this character. You got a hammer and shit. Yeah, I made a very normal looking uh, orc character. And then, Nate, I think you were playing with me and my daughter when I was like very weird. I made this like multicolored nine bot binary wizard. <laughs> <laughs> this game gives you so many customization options. It's pretty. I thought it was pretty. Uh, you do a lot with the customization. So you did unlock you with the customization or as you go on through. Yeah, you unlock more colors and facial expressions. Or yeah, you, can, you unlock everything. I think hair and and when more you hair. get into the town, you they build a statue of your character and you can decide what your statue is doing, like what emote your statue is doing and what the statue is made out of. And, uh, I always feel like banner. Like you remember how earlier I was talking about how the Matrix is lame. Yeah. Uh. Like the Matrix is very in line with the style of hair that video games uh, offer you. Yes, because people who make video games now fucking love the Matrix. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, like I thought self. both of you guys really liked The Matrix. Like no, I like Morris. The Matrix. I think it's like... Sam just thinks that people are dorks because of how yeah. they choose to look at The Matrix. It doesn't hold up. But, I mean, well, in, in the, the new one, absolutely the avatars are, are a lot muted compared to like the previous ones. Yeah, well, but that, I'm just they don't want guys like walking around making fun of them. <laughs> <laughs> Like, but like, you okay, know. are you guys ready for me to drop the chandelier? Oh no, we gotta take the spell first, sorry. They choose to dress like the Lost Boys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that whole part is great. So now we have, I'm just kidding, but, but anyways, yeah. Well, you know, but that's the thing is like, like there had, there, surely there was a subset of people in the late nineties that thought that was what cool people looked like. I thought it was super cool. Yeah, I did when I saw it. I saw it. the Matrix three days in a row when it opened. Did you really? Yeah. You know, I you guys more remember, people with I know, yeah, because, like, but Nate, like if, chat if tends to be... You thought it was people. cool in that, like, you're watching it and you're like, oh, this looks cool. But, like, if you saw someone, like, walk into high school dressed like that, you'd be like, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You know what? Actually, now that we're talking about this, I remember my brother Joe has a friend, John. They're about two years younger than me. And John wore goofy sunglasses, 
kind of, and like a, a brown trench coat, but he definitely was doing it because of the Matrix, and people called him Morpheus behind his back. So there you go. <laughs> it was not even cool then. Yeah. At the time, it was cool. But the people that mocked him were also like the fucking jocks and hillbillies. So like, those guys aren't fucking cool, you know? No, they're just they really were, funny. If I had access to a trench coat and like really Matrix funny. style sunglasses, this I would guy have Todd also mocked my favorite ska band once, so I don't hold his taste too high. Wait, mocking a ska band is <laughs> these fucking jocks yeah, always yeah, no, mocking I, ska bands? I, yeah. No, this guy. No, the, the guy uh, I talked about was Morpheus. Morpheus also yeah. said that my my favorite ska band sounded like circus music. Like, That's you. pretty bad when the guy dressed up like Morpheus is making fun of your favorite band. <laughs> Yeah. It's like you what's know, your fa was... what's your favorite band? Uh, Rage Against the Machine B sides. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up. Um, sorry, bad joke. But like yeah. the reason I watch with my daughter is the same reason I showed her uh, Empire Strikes Back when she was four because I wanted to see her react to the reveal, <laughs> and uh, she was just like. Whoa. Because, like, you know, the first, what I didn't realize until watching The Matrix with the younger kid is the first half hour of that movie is like body horror. You know, like, his mouth suddenly can't open. He's got a spider yeah. thing crawling into his stomach. You know, it's like fucked up. Did she, she, so she handled it okay. Yeah. She's like, she, she says, she's like, it's, she's like, there was a little too much goop in the beginning, but then it was awesome. And then so, I was like, what's your favorite part? She's like, definitely the lobby shootout. I was like, oh, no. <laughs> so I got I got a question She's for like, you. Yeah, yeah. So she hasn't seen T2 yet. Dynamite no, no. We're, we're, we're going to watch that soon. I told her. That. Is she going to watch Terminator before she watches T2? That's what I was wondering. I don't... <laughs> Because when I was a kid, I saw T2 before I saw yeah. Terminator, and I still enjoyed it. No, Obviously, totally. after I saw the first Terminator, I enjoyed it more. But the thing is, and this is, I, well, excuse me if this is what you were going to say, because I bet it was. But, like, the first Terminator is like a slasher movie with a robot. And, yeah, totally, yeah. And the first one, and the second one is, I actually, when I mentioned, uh, uh, when I mentioned showing her the Matrix on stream, people were, or on Twitter, people were talking about the first R-rated movie they saw. And a lot of people were saying, and I agree, like Terminator 2 is another great first R-rated movie, you know? So like, I don't even remember so the first R-rated movie I saw. Here's the thing. I, I Terminator just 2, I mean. I just Terminator. watched Terminator 2 with uh, with yeah. Emily's God Kids. And it now was like a, it was a thing where the this, this son was definitely, old, Kaylee, and he's definitely old enough. He's like 14. And, oh, sure. Uh -huh. uh, so the uh uh Ilium works, this is where I'm going. Uh the daughter actually like like who's like I think only eleven, she uh uh she like ended up watching it in the periphery and then like was like and she usually like gets freaked out by movies and stuff like that. And uh -huh if a movie's like too violent or something like that but she really got into it and especially like it, you know like with Sarah Connor being like a, a you know yeah. like a strong female character Badass. and yeah. you know oh, I jumped you, down here is that okay you still don't see like a ton of that and what violence yeah <laughs> but like oh, the thing me. is what I, I forgot about is that so Second? Terminator starts and these, oh, I know what. Okay, yep. These uh -huh. two guys get like zoomed into the future, and Sarah Connor's running away from this guy who's killing Sarah Connors, and she's also running away from uh, Kyle Reese, who ends up being a good guy. And then in the second movie, you see. You see uh, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger get. get sent back in time and then you see yep. uh this other guy who uh -huh. they are very intentionally don't show uh explicitly murdering anyone and it's yep. not until the mall scene 
where uh, yep. the hallway like roses the shotgun and the roses yep. thing that they well, they reveal well, that Arnold Schwarzenegger is a good uh, guy. In that, yep. also right. that uh, the T one thousand that that that's a bad guy. That's a bad guy. Yeah. And yeah, so it's, it's a big twist if it's, you know it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a big twist, but a lot of us grew up. A, like, we grew up with Arnold Schwarzenegger, the hero, and B, right. with seeing Terminator, uh, knowing that, like, seeing the trailers and knowing that he's the good guy in it. Yeah, you're right. Well, cause that's a, so I've been th I forgot about that part of it, and I think it would be it's fun. It's really cool. Because I've been meaning to watch... Yeah, that's why I've been meaning to watch Terminator 1 first and be like, see if my daughter would be okay with it, because it would be fun to give her that twist. You know what I mean? Because a lot of, yeah. like you said, a lot of people don't experience it. And, uh, but I think there is a but sex the thing scene. Is James Cameron, huh? I the think first one? There is a sex scene. Oh, yeah, they, the first they one, to, yeah. I think she gets her boobs out and everything in the first one. I think it's like, I think it's a pretty steamy sex scene, isn't it? I yeah, think I think so. And I think there might be a, some nudity before that. Yeah, man, I mean, you know, but uh, my daughter, too, it might be one of those things where it's like she probably knows more than she's letting on. That's, you know, who knows what kids talk about at school anymore, you know what I mean? So who knows, but but yeah, I'd probably want to probably maybe fast forward or something. It's not like it's important to the plot. It's like, I'll just turn to her and say, like, well, obviously they fucked. You get that, right? <laughs> yeah, I, like that? <laughs> Just maybe like that, yeah. maybe you know. should watch I'm Euphoria with your kid. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think it would. I think it, she might get a kick out of that. But either way, I mean, Terminator Two is just such. Oh man! It's, it's, no, it Timmy, is what awesome. What was the first movie it, you saw? First already movie I saw. I I can't remember exactly. It might have been. I mean, I was a little older, so it might have been Speed, but I'm not sure. The first one I saw in the theater was e either Devil's Advocate or The Rock. Devil's Advocate is a great first R movie if you're like 17 and want to see tits. Oh, that's the first one. That's the first already movie I saw by myself without parents. I saw The Rock with like my dad or my friend's mom. Or something. Full of fire so. and dreams I mean, my friend's mom was with magic. her son and me and other people. I didn't take my friend's mom on a date to The Rock. <laughs> <laughs> when I was like 13. My hero heroic efforts. The Dragon Lord has escaped. That'd be weird. But, uh. Did you hear what he yeah, said? Yeah, it was either The Rock or Devil's Abbey. What about you guys? What's your first R movie? I know where he's headed. He's a Stallion. Hmm. To warn Queen Butt Stallion of the Dragon Lord's escape, you must travel far across the Wonderlands to the capital city of Bright. I don't even know, but I feel like it would be the same with Sam. Sam, here's, here's what I'm thinking. I feel like. The La Montaigne's, you know, they had like older siblings and they always had a ton of VHS tapes. Yeah. I feel like it probably would have been something at their house. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait, where are you guys? Uh, I'm just joining now. I got booted. You got booted? Oh, I'm boy. down in that tunnel. I'm way back in the tunnel. I'm so far behind you guys for some reason. Did I go too far ahead? Am I ruining the experience for you? Guys? No, I think I went. No. I think I went ahead. I think I'm out of the tunnel, and then it was like telling me I couldn't move. Oh, are you in the overworld? I I don't think I can go to the overworld. I'm by the gate to the overworld. I'm coming. I'm coming. Um. Yeah. Maybe it was Porky's. Or, uh, or like Die Hard. It might have been Die Hard. Die Hard, yeah. It's possibly Die Hard. I saw they live on TV pretty young. Probably 13 or f maybe 13 at my friend Casey's house. I only recently found out that Poltergeist is like rated PG. Dude, okay, so I only saw it for the first time a couple years ago, screening it as a movie to maybe show my kid because it's rated PG. But it's that 70s PG where, so in the 70s they had PG and R. And if you're Steven fucking Spielberg, you can be like, just make my movie PG. <laughs> you know? And so they did. And like Poltergeist and Raiders of the Lost Ark were two of the main reasons they created PG-13. Yeah. Movie. I saw Poltergeist when I was like seven. 
Oh my god, dude. Dude, okay. I, I can see a lot of it being okay, but obviously the end gets pretty gnarly, but the kitchen scene to me was like borderline Fulci. Like when the guy, there's in the kitchen and all the maggots come out of the meat, right? And then the guy goes in the mirror and like rips his own face off, right? Something like that? He takes his face off? Doesn't sound like that. That's a good idea for a movie. Takes his face off. Yeah, that was... That movie's crazy though, but yeah, I, th- I can see my daughter liking it. But like, that movie has some pretty crazy shit happening in it too. I still want it. Was still Vacation R rated? I think so. There's boobies all over that. Isn't oh, yeah, it? yeah. There, there isn't a. Might have been Vacation. Just isn't it weird? How- Red Dawn, the first PG-13 movie. That could be true. Because like, uh. Temple of Doom and uh, Poltergeist were rated PG, but when they came out, people were like, "These are pretty fucked up for PG movies." Isn't it so a bummer that they that about. they just made a Red Dawn remake? Yeah, because, like six, seven years ago. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when we were like getting along with Russia somewhat, so. Right. And now it's like, damn. <laughs> now it's like we could have made. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, my character's name, by the way, is Mom. <laughs> Your mom? That's my character's name. So we have mom, mom, clitoris, and butt? It's Clitoris. 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 A Clitoris. Like a. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so we're on cooperation, so oh, we all get our own loot. But right? that makes sense yes. why, why a second ago you are so hard to find. <laughs> uh, uh. Sam Brown, everybody. Yeah, oh, I used man. that joke that last self suck. Uh, so <laughs> still works. Yeah. You said that last self suck about something. Uh, we about were talking about that that uh, female orgasm documentary, and then someone. Oh, that's right. I said, yeah, it's really hard to find. And then someone said, it would be hard to find if it was a clitoris documentary. And so now... Oh, okay. I got that chance. Someone, hey. someone skewered you on the minutia. But now, Speak- you, now you perfected it. Speaking of remakes, though... Yeah. And and you were tell- you guys had mentioned on the show that the third Die Hard movie... Uh-huh. Was really something else that they kind of turned into a dark movie. Yeah, but that happens to a lot. There's more movies than you think that are like that too. Well, that's like um, the Total Recall remake. I really like as a movie on its own, but I don't right. really think it's a very Total recall movie. Yeah. I'm wondering if that I, I was similar. I've seen it, but there's a lot of movies like that. You know? You know what's another movie like that, Nate? What's that? The Manchurian Candidate remake. Oh, I haven't yeah. seen it. But with Denzel Washington, it was directed by Jonathan Demme, wasn't it? Sam? Oh, really? I think it was. Cool. Anyways, it's great, but it's Manchurian Candidate, so it's like, well, you know, it's not a great remake of the Manchurian Candidate. Um, and they like shoehorn in a couple lines from the original, but if it was with its own movie, there's a really great fucked up close up shot of a drill going into a skull plate that is really great. And there's some other good stuff. What's there. a skull plate? Like uh, the bone, the, the plate of your skull. Oh. Like they're drilling into someone's head to put the to implant in there to make them the Manchurian can, you know? Sick. Yeah. Uh, have you ever yeah, seen Seconds? Sure John, that was a cool man. movie. That John no, Fra- you, you've ta- talked about John it before Fra- and I've always meant to watch it but never got around to it. John Fra- Frankenheimer directed. You ever watch Frank Shock Frank. Corner? I saw that recently. Oh really? Shock How was that? Sam Fuller? It's fucking crazy, man. <laughs> It has some, uh, it's interesting, you know, obviously it's got a, a very outdated view of asylums. Uh, you know what it's about? It's a, it's a guy who fakes being crazy to go investigate a death at an insane asylum. Yeah. Because he thinks people who run the hospital are like fucking. I'm so glad you guys are here. Play games and be friends. Yeah, that's cool. Um, you know what I've always thought, talking about, uh, uh, Die Hard with a Vengeance. What? No. Uh-huh. One thing that makes that so good. I mean, like Bruce and Sammy, uh, Sammy Jack are great, but also I love the whole thing where they have like the other cops. 
nice to meet you. Yes, meet Graham you. Green. Wonderful actor. Graham and, Green never gets much to do, and he has a lot to do in Die Hard with a Vengeance. And me, he's the older I'm Native. Really? He's the older Native American cop. Oh yeah, right. yeah, yeah. And that would be a cool show. The ruins of a shrine dot the landscape. The Die Hard cops. Like yeah, a Die Hard show, or like maybe it's just called McLean. And it's uh -huh. John McClane in right, New York. Well and notably like a, a uh -huh. John McClane prequel of him just doing... I think this is too good of an idea to be saying for free literally, on stream. They were, they were making this... <laughs> Sam, they were making that movie. Oh, really? Oh, TV show. Yeah, but I think they were making that movie. But they, I think they abandoned it, but yeah. I'll be here watching Damn. Back, well, I think that's a good idea. Well, yeah, obviously it was. Somebody would have thought so. Yeah. But just like like um, the, those cops, like that 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 world yeah. was a cool world. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Because it was a reality but heightened where there's like these crazy, very intricate fake terror attacks every couple of years. <laughs> and they're always like with a twist. Yeah. Very I love, like, very detailed. Also the idea too is like that like John McClane was like one of them. Like, he wasn't like right. this like like he, he did have these like crazy like uh like things happen to him and everyone's like, oh yeah, he did that. But it it didn't to them it didn't mean he was a better cop than him. No, but, uh, he was still like a drunk piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, no, you're an asshole, man. Like it doesn't matter that you like, you ended up in the Nakatomi Plaza because you're a dick to your wife. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're only there because you're a shitty husband. <laughs> Dude, you know what seems so good in that movie? The elevator scene? That's yes, like one of my favorite Lord. shootouts. You guys, you guys see the... You guys, you guys see the lottery... No, you guys see the lottery numbers last night? Oh, yeah. Man. Dude, someone should make a compilation of great elevator fights, because that one, and then Winter Soldier, of yeah, course. Winter so I, I'm one. sure Winter Soldier, like, cited that, you know? They, yeah, they are probably like, yeah, well, what if Captain America was in that Die Hard scene? Yeah. <laughs> um, God, there's another one I'm thinking of. Well, Science of the Lambs is a great elevator bit, but it's not it's not an action yeah. scene. But, um, the whole shooting the leg. Uh, there's something else I'm thinking of. I, I feel like there's some kind of Hong Kong action movie. I feel like I've seen Jackie Chan do something great with an elevator. I can't remember what it is. <laughs> Who do you think would be a good young Bruce Willis? Joseph Gordon-Levitt with a makeup nose. <laughs> <laughs> I just watched that again recently. I haven't seen it in a while. Is it good? Uh, no. Really? I wanted it to, like, there were good parts to it, but, like, in the end, no. Huh. Yeah. I saw it once in the theater. Ooh, I got blue. Do you know, Nate, if they're going to do a post game with this, like they do with the Borderlands games, where you can play through it again at a harder level and get more orange stuff? Oh, are they? That'd be cool. Well, I don't know. That's what they do with the Borderlands games. Somebody asked, is this made by the same people that did Borderlands? Yeah, it's literally, I mean, it's pretty much a sequel. It's, a, I mean, it, this is basically a board game being played by characters in the Borderlands world, and the, the DM is, like, one of the characters yeah. from the So, game. whoever asks that should really fucking get their head out of their ass. Read a fucking, read a fucking book. Yeah. Uh, Brian Johnson is a good director besides Star Wars. Oh, no. Like let's, that's not, let's just go right over that shit. I like the brick. Oh, Brick is great. I've actually enjoyed all his movies. The only one I haven't seen is uh, Brothers Bloom. I haven't seen that one. That was what great. else did Ryan Johnson do? That's about it. He did Brick, he did Brothers Bloom, he did Looper, and then he got the Star Wars gig, and then he did Knives Out. Knives Out has a sequel, which I feel is weird. Oh, it's going to be great. No, he's going, that's like an old school thing. You know? Um, I don't know. Like, that that think they're coming back and doing, huh? The Hercule Poirot. What? The yeah, Hercule, like Hercule Poirot. Poirot or Miss Marple or Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. Huh. I mean, he's probably got a French name as a you know reference to Hercule Poirot. But yeah. 
And I only know about that stuff because my daughter, for some reason, got really into Agatha Christie. It's like, you gotta be the only fucking 10 year old. <laughs> like, I'm with you. Stark away. You could totally whack that thing. Huh? Uh, I wasn't that into Knives Out. I was neither. I really like his speech at the end about donut holes. I love that part. That girl from Knives Out is really pretty, though. She, yeah, she is, is really uh, pretty. And, uh, Ana de Armas. What, Ana Sam? Ana de Armas, yes. Sam disagrees. Uh, what? No. Nate, do you know how fast I would kiss her? <laughs> How much would you kiss her, though? I would kiss her so much. I mean, like, everybody has their own opinion. Tanwell. Tanwell was right Tanwell. there. Oh, Tanwell was right there. Yeah. There's some people out there that's like, wait a minute, but everyone knows they're pretty, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like Keanu Reeves. Everybody thinks Keanu Reeves is like, you know, a beautiful angel, right? I heard she's pretty basic. Who's basic? Ana de Ar de Armas? Uh, Ana de Armas. <laughs> she's... What do you mean? Okay, what? Seriously though, what does that mean? When someone's basic? What you know. does it mean? It means it's just they like. It's like they like normal stuff. Like they drive an SUV, and they like. No, it. she's like you know, like a pretty typical like party girl of her age. I mean, she's. What's she like? Thirty. Um, she's. She's like thirty and hot and has money. Well, yeah, go out. Yeah. You know. She spends her weekends yeah. going to killers concerts and, uh, <laughs> you know. She says, I don't know. Is that the killers? No, who was that? I don't fucking know. <laughs> um, yeah, she goes to she lots was, uh, of, like, Banksy art shows. When they were doing Knives Out, because that was done, like, near here. Um, oh, yeah, it was. She right. would go out to clubs a lot. And I would hear how surprisingly basic she was. Not a good story. <laughs> I don't know. She just, she has this odd, like, like, in a lot of her roles, too, she just... Gives, I mean, it's acting, so I know it's not real, but um, it just, I didn't get that vibe. Am I being weird? No, you're fine. <laughs> I'm saying weird stuff. No. <laughs> she, we were talking about like pres prestige and erotic thrillers or whatever you want to call them. She just did one with Ben Affleck. Some people are saying it's pretty good. I mean, she dated Ben Affleck after that for a while. Oh, really? Well, yeah, so, I mean, when they were spending all this time shooting each other, like, shooting a movie where they're, like, licking each other, so I guess they're like, we should do this in real life for a little bit? What was the one so. that they did? Uh, what's it called? Deep Water? Dark Water? Water? The Pirates of Dark Water? Oh, water, my God. Water Sports. Water Sports. <laughs> no, it's not Cobo. What was it? Somebody in chat, tell us. <laughs> Nate, everybody is referencing you in chat saying, am I not being cool right now? From Civil War on Drop. <laughs> uh, uh, shit. Um, uh, what is that movie? Anyways, Deep Water, I think it's called. But it's directed by Adrian Lin, who did a bunch of those. The original, It was very involved in the original crop of those. I think they made Fatal Attraction. Oh, isn't he the one who, who like the last remade Jedi? Lolita? Nate, where the fuck have you been? People hate The Last Jedi. Huh. But there's a, no, hold on, I'm sorry. There's a very vocal minority of people who do not like The Last Jedi. I feel like more people like it than what you think about, but it's like, you hear a lot about how bad it is. I personally love it, but I try not to say that because then it makes people talk about it and I don't want to talk about it anymore. Was The Last okay. Jedi the third one or the second the one? The second one. So, okay. guys, I have what? to go. Oh, no. What are we gonna do now? Should we be done? Uh, I'm, I could play. I already am set up. I could play by myself, but I would have to. Do you want me to log to, to log off and then start? You start to stream. I think if Timmy just starts streaming, it'll automatically take over. Really? If I just start streaming in OBS or what? Yeah, I mean, it's you have the stream key. It'll just kick Sam off. I think that's if you have the stream key and not if you're logged in with the account. I mean, I think, oh, I don't know if I have the stream key in. 
Would it really mess up viewership and chat if we just if you just stop? Just jump see in? see what happens when you lot when you. Oh no problem, guys. Everybody in chat is really excited about Trailer Boys. Yeah, yeah, and man. I gotta submit some trips. I'm it doing such Kylie, a good topic. And Kylie Kazoo's like, show. Oh, you were there. What, Sam? I'm doing Cali Kazoo's show before that, so hopefully we'll get some crossover. The drawing she did of you is really good. Yeah, she's a very good artist. Did I see it? Did I make something up? Or did, is Rob Schrab in, involved in that show too? Yeah, oh, it's on his, his channel. On yeah. Oh, it's on okay. his streaming service. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, Shrab, uh, Shrab um, Hunt, yeah. If, if anyone in chat is wanting to submit, but they don't know what to submit, no one has submitted Never Back Down. And that's a great trailer. Oh has anyone submitted Red I'm Belt? Gonna submit Red uh, I don't know. I haven't seen it, no. Have you not seen Red Belt, um, Timmy? No, I know, and I know I would like it, and because it's like I like David Mamet's dialogue, and I like martial arts stuff, so I sh oh, really should see something. it. And I like it's... that guy. What's that? What's that actor's name? I always forget. Chew, um, Chew and tell Yeah, yeah, Chew that's tell. a hard one. Um, for us. <laughs> I like. Uh, yeah. It has such a good ending. Does it? Yeah. You know, like some movies like, I, don't I have good endings. Because I'm gonna submit some. Uh, but, you know, I looked at the list and there's a few deep cuts I was going to submit. One of them is taken, the other ones are not. So I'm going to. No, submit. taken is, is fine because yeah, then not, you can not pick taken. it. Not taken. Not taken. And then that person gets points. But it's oh, your book, oh, okay. so you get to watch whatever you want. Yeah, I if thought you were saying that. I, for that's a second, even better. I, I'm sorry. Yeah, Timmy, I thought you were saying taken. I was trying to submit. You were trying to submit. No, but, but I somebody should somebody... submit never back down. Somebody already submitted the uh, the Legend of the Seven Golden. What is it? The Seven Golden Vampires? It's the one where Hammer Horror Studios and Shaw Brothers Kung Fu Studios came together and made a Kung Fu Dracula movie. What? I've heard that Shaw Brothers thing a couple times. Shaw Brothers, yeah. So they're uh, they, they were a major Chinese studio, Hong Kong, and um, so every single. Every single kung fu movie that feeds into the stereotype of kung fu movies is a shabra. Is pretty much shabra. Oh really? Yeah, That's like the, the the weird dubbing, the costumes, the. Why is it the yellow effects. instead of purple? Does that mean we got something good? All that stuff. Where? What? Oh wow. I'm stuck. Oh, yellow. Oh, the cube. I don't. Know. Who's stuck? I am. Which sucks if. It, Where if... are you? I'm oh, he's oh, over here. There we go. Like there we go. Him? I got it. I got it. Yeah. Fine. Stuck I feel like we might have enough submissions to do like a two-parter trailer boys. This is so much good shit. Right now, I'm just kidding. All right. I watched uh, Never Back Down has three sequels. Yeah, dude, and the second one is supposed to be actually really good because Michael Jai White is the star of that one, and he directed one of them. He's he's a star of like the the like next three. And, yeah. And trailer boys well, love Michael Jai White. Is, is Undisputed two or three or four on there? Well, What's Undisputed 2 or 3 or 4? Well, there, there are three sequels to the movie Undisputed. Oh, I don't know. I haven't seen <laughs> Did anybody do the trailers for those? No? Oh. Well, Undisputed <laughs> is that, like, okay Wesley Snipes and Ving Rhames prison boxing movie, but they yeah. made direct-to-video sequels, and what they do that's really cool, so Wesley Snipes, or no, Ving Rhames is kind of the bad guy in the first one. In the second one, Michael Jai White is, is playing Ving Rhames' character, and now he's kind of the protagonist. And the bad guy is Scott Atkins playing a Russian kickboxer. In the third one, the Russian kickboxer is the good guy. And there's another uh, Chilean kickboxer that comes in. So uh, those trailers are probably pretty cool. I mean, you could do just all Scott Atkins trailers, really. Uh, Timmy, do you, do you want to try and start a stream? Yeah, let's do this. I'm sorry. I'm just See babbling about over. hot kung fu. Oh, we will rabbit hole the shit out of tomorrow night, Timmy. Yeah. It's your birthday. You get to rabbit hole whatever you want. Like it's you a want rabbit hole? Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Like, you see like, a trailer and you're like, this reminds me of another trailer. Or you're like, I want to see if this movie has sequels, you know? Because, again, I think we have so many that I think, like, the next trailer boys will have to be. Oh, dude, Kung Fu sequels. Okay, yeah. that's interesting. Okay. So, okay, so I should stop virtual camera that hit start streaming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See if that'll just pick it up. 
There's a conspiracy theory that a Chinese business mogul who had interest in the Sean Brothers movies poisoned Bruce Lee. Ooh. <laughs> Did Bruce Lee not work with the Shaws? Okay, so I hit start streaming. It says connecting. So is it trying to kick you out of there? We'll find out. Here we, what if I stop stream while it, it, he's... Good night, yeah, guys. We'll see, we'll see how this technology works. Okay, I'm streaming now. Ugh. Is it working? Uh, no. No? Let's see if it starts off again. It just says... Oh, they said we're back. People are saying we're back. Alright, cool. Alright, Sam. Sam. So, wait, how do I get Nate, though? I don't have Nate. I'm here. I know, but uh, how do I get you in here? Nate, do you have your head... Do you, can you talk through game chat? Oh, um... Yeah, I'm gonna have to yeah, do all that. Game chat. Hold on. Uh, wow, I see. just turned my audio on when you burped. <laughs> Fucking pig. <laughs> uh, team queen. Mute. All right. Tomorrow. Good night, Samuel. Boys. You got it. I could also leave the Zoom. Uh, Do I have it on? Uh, Wait, I try and uh, leave the the meeting. It'll leave it you guys. All right. I'm gonna leave it and then see if you have it with game chat. But I'm just gonna leave. All right. Okay. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right. Good night, uh, Sammy. Adios. Okay, uh, kids, so this is a very bizarre setup, so you're going to have to tell us what's working and what's not. So is the game audio still working? Nate's running circle. Nate, you're like, you're like doing flash shit around me. Okay. Should we switch to our older guys? I think so. I feel like these could be characters to work on, but our older these guys might be characters? more fun for chat. Huh? These are Sam characters. Are these for playing with Sam? I suppose. Well, Sam created a new character too. What is your oldest character? I have a twenty-five. I have a, you might want to. I have a twenty-three and a twenty-five. What? Should I should I mute my game chat so we can use the Zoom? Nate echoes, but it doesn't sound too bad. Okay. Are you echoing in? No, let me just mute myself in the game then. Okay, cool. We're gonna use Zoom. All right, so um, yeah, if we're just keeping that up, fine. Okay, chat. Tell us about. Uh, can you hear the game audio? Nate sounds like the booming voice of God. No, I fixed it. We should be good. Yeah, that's an old. That's okay. They cannot hear the game audio, so that's the next thing. All right, so we want the game audio. They can hear me, but not the game audio. So, what is not, uh, so what's not feeding in on the game? Okay, let me try this real quick. Do, 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 do. We'll get there. And if anybody says dad's on the internet to me, I'm gonna fucking slap them because this is not a dad's on the internet moment. This is us figuring shit out on the fly like some fucking professionals. Right, Nathaniel? Okay, we'll do it live. Fuck it! You know what? Um. Fuck it. Um. Okay, yeah. that's not working. Fathers playing video games. Father <laughs> playing. Fathers on the internet. You know what? Kiss my. Yeah. Okay. You're uh, they're, they're all right. They're all correct. I'm getting it. 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 Not yet. Yet. not yet. Not yet, man. It's not yet. Oh yeah. It feels like midnight for me, but it's not. Okay. Do we have game audio now? Do we have game audio now? Do we have game audio now? Lydia Petunia said earlier that the, f she, Shit. the first boobies she saw were... Dude, uh, I just majorly fucked up. Hold on. Right. I hit the wrong button and tried to bring up a Microsoft Edge page. Okay, there we go. <laughs> what now about boobs? This is um, important to me. She said, the, she said she saw Fast Times or on High. Oh. That's a great set of first movie boobs, for sure. But so is that a weird thing to say? Okay. 
No, no, it's, it's, uh, I think it's, it's, uh... I hear the game audio, but Nate, I'm sorry, Nate, I'm doing too many things at once. Someone says they hear the audio, but that you're still echoey. Why is the game audio so quiet? Okay, I can fix that, I can fix that, I can fix that. Game invite oh, received. No, oh wait, no, I'm trying to join you for game. Sorry. God damn it! What was that, Nate? I, I I don't know. We might be both in the menus, so I think I have to join you or something. Yeah, you gotta join me. You can join me through the through the shift thing. Yeah. At least I can see my character now, who is fucked up. So. Wait, Eagle, well, your first movie boobs are Bruce Lee movie. What Bruce Lee movie has boobs? Oh, dude, lots of them. Bruce Lee loved to put really? titties in a movie. Oh, yeah. What? Dude, lots of Kung Fu movies had boobs in them. Uh, we'll learn that tomorrow. Somebody, I think, I don't know if anybody put it on there, but the Five Element Ninjas has almost everything in it that people make fun of when they make fun of Kung Fu movies. And uh, surprise boobies are definitely one of them. Like, there's a ninja, and you don't know the ninja's a girl, so they pull the shirt down. Oh, this ninja has luscious titties. <laughs> I feel like the most formative time, like, I, Emily was making fun of me when I was, mentioned how, like, what an impact, like, when you're young and you see boobs in a movie, like, like, what a scar. Like, like a good scar in your brain. A good scar, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, she was like, that's such a creepy thing to say, and I'm like... Okay, I'm like, it's true though, like, you see a boob and you're like, holy shit, everything's changed. Yeah, yeah. Whatever those things are, they are different. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, okay, there is game audio here, I don't know why it's... Oh, I think I'm in your group now. Yeah, I think yeah I'm you're in my group. Um, Rangina says he still never has seen boobs. Nate sounds like he's underwater. Um... Um, why come? Why I, I feel come? Like the chat also also might be delayed, so it's like every time yeah. you adjust something. I'm almost. I'm almost there. Oh, here we go. Input. Yeah. Airplane is the ultimate surprise. Boobs. Those are good boobs. I I, I missed that. So, oh, airplane has good surprise boobs. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rank. Oh, the only boobs. audio from Nate sounds like it's what Timmy can hear in his apartment. Okay, I know, I know, I know what we got here. I know. I got it, I got it, I got it. I okay, got it. to vote. Nate was perfect for a second. Uh, I'm perfect more, most of the time. Um, <laughs> what he, whatever he did for his airplane comment was good. I said something is like, it'll be fine, and then you'll clear the delayed so that you fix something and it makes it yeah. go away. Alright. European vacation boobs, just one of the guy boobs, fast times are one high boobs. Oh, they're really gonna hate what I'm doing right now. Okay, so. Right. Oh, oh, oh. Um, you you did make it fine for a second. I so did make it fine for a second. Right now, I, think. I, don't know. I don't know. Nate came through clear for a hot second. Well, the thing is, is we're, we're doing this so fucking weirdly, you know, that that's... The we problem. can go back to uh, the game chat. I don't know what that sounds like, though. Mm, I think it was pretty fuzzy. Okay, how are the... uh oh, Kumar 2 had vagina? What? My audio is already lowered, though, and I don't actually have control over Nate's audio right now. I am streaming, and I do not have the Zoom in the feed whatsoever. That's what people don't understand. So understand that. <laughs> and, oh, I don't have chat up. Now I have chat up. All right. Um, there we go. So I'm getting all that stuff up, because I, did, I didn't have the setup like I am streaming. So now I do. And I'm sure Amy Smart had boobs in Road Trip. Yep. Amy Smart had boobs in her. Road Trip. Uh, I think I saw uh, her on uh, the trailer for some random ass, like, you know, direct to video movie. Um, okay, so. I want audio input. Charge you Samurai, not yet. Huh? Uh, 
people are asking if the um, if the VOD is published, but not yet because we're still on it. How? Yeah. How is Sam's uh? Stay there. Okay, Wait, got it. There, Nate, good. talk. Say something stupid. Um, uh, I sound good now. Yep. Okay. Better how about audio game? Now. How about Web game X, audio? Like Web sex. Am I right? High five. High five. How about game audio? How about game audio? Tell us about that. Nate sounds good. Okay. Game audio is there too. All right. Fuck it. Let's play. Tell me. Tell me. I sound pretty. He sounds pretty. Oh, so pretty. He sounds pretty and pretty and Nate, what level are you at, bro? Twelve. You're only. At, I thought. I thought you were further than that. You're level twelve. Maybe. Hold on. This is the non-binary wizard character that I play with my daughter. I just wanted people to see how weird I made them look. <laughs> That's gr It's good, right? And yeah. I named them Valeros. How do I tell what level I am? Game is quiet though. I know, I'm trying to figure out how to turn up the game. Nate. How do you tell what level you are? Go to like load character. Stupid. Oh, uh, okay, I'm level 12. Oh, you're only level 12? My character's name is Fourth Meal. F O O R T H M E O L or something. Fourth Meal. So, uh, how do we do this? Do you want to come into mine, or should I come into yours? I'm in yours. Like, if you, you can see that oh. I'm kind of like in the background of yours. So if we're in cooperation mode, that means you'll still be at your own level, so you're not going to get the floor wiped with you, right? I guess. Yeah, By my level 25 right. villains. Yeah. Look how... Okay, but hold on. Look how fucking great this guy looks, right? Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I took my time on him. He looks really fucking badass. You're my guy in the background now. Yeah, you, I, oh, uh, yeah. You, you're like an orcish guy, too. Yeah, fucking orc bros for life. Uh-oh. All right. I hit a button. Or did you start? No, I hit a button. Okay. All right, let's try and get Razor to sound better. Come in each other's what? Faces? We'll come in everything. <laughs> Ron China points it out non-binary, but then you also said I named him. Oh, it is them. I'm sorry. I thought I said her. I, I, I thought I said them. I could be wrong. Um, I modeled my character after a bat person. Like, not Batman, but like Bat Boy? Like the... Ooh. Like Bat Boy? Yeah, like Bat Boy. Okay, so right now there's probably no game audio. I, someone says I thought it said Tiny Tunes. Sorry. Um, okay. Okay, I, I need to fix one other thing here. I thought I had... Alright, I'm going to do one more audio input capture. All right, how is game? Uh, Nate, say something, and then chat, tell me how the game audio is, please. Hello, my name's Nate. My character kind of does look like me. That's what Timmy said. I'm fucking dancing, bro. Drove home a bit drunk after being around a bunch of assholes. How much was Tiny Tina's been meaning to buy it at some point? It just came out, so I think it's like full price. For yeah, games, so I got the whole Schlemiel version, so I got... This is like $90. Um, okay, so let's do a mission. Well, Nate, I'm, f I'm way further ahead of you then. You don't mind doing... Right. Yeah, yeah, I don't mind. You don't mind doing missions from like... Do you even know about this whole ocean thing yet? <laughs> yeah, this is this is where I got to. Okay, so you're... But you're only level 12 and you got, the, and you got this far? Yeah, I'm pretty good at this game. <laughs> <laughs> Did you skip all the side missions so far? Yeah. Okay, that's why. I've done everything up until this point. Um, the whole Murphs thing was that was a very good thing. Somebody mentioned that they liked the um, the Borderlands games, but they turned down all the dialogue because they didn't like all like the talking shit. So I would say this is not the game for you because that's that's like the best. Yeah, they do a lot of that. I like, but a lot of the dialogue is funny. But my my one complaint so far 
in this about this game is that the couple of Claptrap side missions, he never shuts the fuck up. And it's like, Claptrap has been funny before, but they gave him way too much dialogue. Because there's parts like, I come home from work, my daughter's not here, so I'm playing video games by myself, trying to soothe all that anxiety that I had from fucking work. And so, like, playing games, and then doing a, a Claptrap side mission, and it's just like talking and talking and talking. It's like, shut the fuck up! You know, and it's... I just think it's too much, you know? And it's not even all that funny, you know, so... That they needed to tone down a little bit. The whole Murph thing, though, I thought was great. Yeah, that's the other thing, is a lot of the other funny stuff they're doing is very funny. Wanda Sykes is really funny in this. Andy Samberg's character is hilarious. Uh, Will Arnett's Samberg's character is funny. Great. Yeah. Uh, Will Arnett's character is funny, and the uh, yeah, all the references. The Smurfs mission is awesome. There's a uh, there's a Moby Dick mission later that I played when I played with Trevor's sister. I was in their game, and they were on like a Moby Dick reference kind of mission, and yeah, so there's a bunch of weird stuff like that that's funny. But like, just specifically, Clap Prep is like, okay, we get it. What are we doing? Okay. Um, I thought also, like, you just kind of push through the game and it's like, you know, kind of on rails, but it's pretty open and yeah. it does get really hard. Yeah. Um, the Borderlands games in general, like, you can, you can make them pretty fucking hard. Um, they can get difficult. Because these characters, oh, the bad guys are always just major bullet sponges. And if people don't know about the Borderlands games and these Gearbox games and stuff, like, the big, big draw really is the loot, is the equipment, because... That's so cool how random it is. Yeah, it's like random gun generators, and, I mean, the, the theme since the very first Borderlands has been, we want a game with a bajillion guns. And that's, like, what, what it is. Nate, can you say welcome to Walmart? <laughs> what does that mean? I think they're trying to say that you still sound weird. I don't know. People that work at Walmart sound weird? Borderlands 2 is the best one, in my opinion. I agree with that. Although, I'm really, I really am enjoying this game a lot, except for, uh, like I said, one clap trap won't stop talking. That might have just been me. You know, sometimes uh, when you have really bad anxiety, it's like, you know, I mean, part of the problem is that your brain's telling you things are worse than they are, so maybe it was just me. Welcome to Costco. I love you. Blue light special, I'll not. Do I sound like an overhead person? I think you maybe do a little bit, but okay. you know uh, how, you know how it is. So Give him a I little thing to the day talk at about. The DMV yesterday. Who was at uh, the DMV? You were? Me, yeah, yeah. Oh, I God. At the, DMV. the whole day? Um, yeah. Like it Why? Was a long time. Um, you know, I, I didn't realize that they have appointments now. You kind of have to like get appointments. Oh, uh, yeah. You're walking. Yeah, they don't really like that anymore. They were like, um, do you have an appointment? No? All right, you have to wait here until they say we can let you in. But this guy was doing that thing, like the security guard, and they're, you know, like dressed like cops and they have guns, but they're like DMV security guards. <laughs> um, he was doing that, like, uh, the Napoleon Dynamite thing, where he's like so over it, he's like just talking with his eyes closed. <laughs> and if the uh, management will oh, say that we're allowed to let people in that are walk up, and he was just over it. And I just thought it was just funny thing. It's like, you're really just a fake cop. I forgot that this character I'm, I'm playing as right now is supposed to, like, it's kind of, he's meant for melee. Uh, the funny part, though, was that I was like, I kind of re realized that like these guys didn't really have any experience or any knowledge of how like, the system works. And it is the government. And, right. Like, none of these systems are connected. Yeah. So these dudes, I realized real quick, like their only job is really to legendary bow tie. Uh, yeah, this lady has sent us to a cave to look for the legendary bow, but it's a legendary bow tie. So, so anyway, I realize these guys, like, all they're really doing is, like, checking people's appointments. 
and then you know letting them in. They're not doing anything else. And so I went online really quick, and what I was trying to get, what I was trying to do, they didn't have any appointments available, but I kept flicking through like all the stuff, and I finally found that like they did have an appointment available for something else. You know, uh -huh. just dumb. So I took that appointment, showed them the thing. Yes, I have an appointment. They let me in. And then when I got into the DMV, I. Uh, gave my real pay, like I'm here for this. Cause it's like, you know, none of these systems really connect. So right, so they don't know, yeah. That was my, uh, uh, my Mentos moment there. <laughs> oh man, the fresh maker. Yeah. I was like, Good yeah, I, I have an appointment, let me in the room. And then I get in there and there weren't even that many people in the DMV. Just, you know. But it's very funny. I keep shooting you. Keep That's fine. My, guy, my daughter, I do that all the time. She's like, oh, you look like a bad guy. Because, you, you know, in the old game, in the Borderlands games, you pick specific characters. But in this, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, you yeah. can make your guy look like whatever. So basically what's going on here is that my character is like a cold... Cold powers barbarian, but now, but now I mixed him with like death powers. So you cause frost damage, and then you do this big blood sucking jump thing that heals you. And I have this like stat thing that like eats your shield to give you more health. And so it's all like uh, just makes him like a murder thing. Do I sound sad? Everyone's I think you sound crazy. fine. I think they're saying you need to sound sad to sound like a retail person. Okay. Nate needs to talk happier with I mean, his mouth okay open wider. It's okay to be sad, guys. Huh? It's okay to be sad. Timmy's cracking a cold one? I am. I'm cracking a cold sparkling water. And a lot of guns just fell down. Yeah, dude, I'm picking them up. That's crazy. Yeah, the amount of guns. Have you ever, like, beaten the end boss of one of these games? Holy shit, look at that sword. That, that's nuts. Did you get a good sword? Ooh, yeah. look at that. Go ahead. Hey, if I pick something up, can you not pick it up? I can. Oh. You threw it out. But oh, no, no, we're on co- at your screen, Nate. You're seeing completely different shit. Yes, because Nate, we're on cooperation, which means we get our we get our own loot. Is your loot leveled to you? Uh, yeah. My loot's leveled to me, and so the thing you just threw out is leveled to you. I'll take it and give it to my daughter. <laughs> I'm saving a bunch of orange stuff for her too in my character locker. Nate always sounds a little depressed. Hey, but I don't you're, th you're not depressed. You're not paying attention. You know okay? what, though? Honestly, there is like <laughs> that. That's like the version that women have to deal with in the real world. Like, hey, sweetie, how about a smile? It's like, you know what? Why don't we sound pissed? Everything is pissed. Like everything pisses me off. So why don't we sound pissed? I just always sound like Mickey Mouse, so it doesn't matter. But uh, yeah. You know, but why don't these women be smiling more? <laughs> Oh, Nate's in a menu. Sorry. Yeah, I need to actually do that, too. Let me just do that. Inventory management. Inspiring Falchion of Splintering. What's a good movie to watch with my 15-year-old? What do they like? Um, do they like horror movies? Do they like have action? You, have you told them about weed? Do they know about weed? I like Dazed and Confused. I think that's a fun movie. Yeah. But it is very weed centric. And also, yeah. it's a movie maybe you don't want to watch with a 15 year old because they're like, oh, that's what I should get into in high school. Is <laughs> at least good. Is Smoking Trees? Yeah, Half Baked. I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah, well, I mean, there's some good PG 13 comedies that skew a little raunchy on the humor that might be good. I mean,. Billy Madison and Happy Gilmore get some pretty crazy jokes in there. Um, I'm still, like, I'm sure it's going to happen when your daughter gets older, but, like, I still, as an adult person with, like, a healthy, normal relationship with my mom, get so uncomfortable when there's, like, something, like, sexual on TV. Uh -huh. I'm like, Ugh. you know, like, it's, it's, uh, I saw, I saw, um, Super bad in the theater with my mom. Uh huh. <laughs> it was fucking weird. I'm gonna trump the shit out of that in a second, but I'm gonna let you finish your story. Right. No, that's it. 
Okay, do you know do you know my 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 story that I'm talking about? Okay, so and I've recently remembered this, okay? Cuz I didn't I must have pushed it back in my mind. But so in 1999 I was uh, about to graduate high school, and so I was going to go to... I ended up going to college for a little bit in uh, to Viterbo College in La Crosse, Wisconsin. And one of my mom's good friends, Martha, lived what's in... A, hold on, sorry to derail. Well, what's a Turbo College? Viterbo. V as in Victor, oh, I, T yeah. as in Tom, E as in Edward, oh, R as in Robert, B as in Bob, O. Viterbo, it's an Italian word. So it was actually a Catholic college, and I, would, I was already done... Trying to be Catholic, uh, trying to be a good Catholic, because uh, once you're in, you're in, apparently. But anyways, I'm not, I don't like to go to church. Anyways, I was going to that college, and it's in La Crosse, Wisconsin, and uh, my mom's friend Martha lived there. And so, uh, you know, we were there for a couple days while I visited the school, and she's like, well, let's go to a movie. And I was like, I was just starting to become a film nerd, and I said, well, Stanley Kubrick has, like, the, his last film out in theaters. Do you know what movie that is? Remove your clothes. So I, huh? You don't. Remove you don't. Your clothes. What? Yes. Yes. Exactly. So I saw eyes wide shut, sitting in between my mom and her friend Martha. And that movie is nothing but like beautiful naked women, <laughs> and like tons and tons of sex, and it was just like, it was it was wild. <laughs> And I, it's a great movie. It's a really great movie. Uh, but yeah, that was very weird. Plus, you know, they don't like, uh, the, you know, mom and her friends. They're not into, like, uh, darkness and pressure and stress in a movie. And that is a very stressful movie. You know, Tom Cruise's character, you know, he, it's like, it's very uh, foreboding, you know. Like, his yeah. life is, like, coming apart at the seams because he went to this, like, orgy party. I read the short story that it's based on. This guy who was like a, a co-writer of it yeah. wrote this book called Eyes Wide Open, and it was so bad. I was like a big Stanley Kubrick fan, so I was like, oh, it'd be really cool to see this insight. And this, you know, it was written after Stanley Kubrick died, and the dude was such a hack. Um, well, because I thought it was based on an article or something, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, it was it, it was very thin. The source stuff was okay. Cool. There wasn't a lot there. Uh, well, let's right. uh, put on our shit kickers and kick some shit. You want to fight a bunch of mushrooms? Lydia Petunia said she's into action movies. The 15-year-old is? Yeah. Okay, so has she seen Fury Road? Ooh, yeah, that's a good one. Because I just showed my 10-year-old that, and she thought it was oh, one of the greatest things she's she ever seen. Has she seen the other ones? Or did you just go right you don't need No, Road? you don't need it. The Mad Max movies are... Almost standalone. I, true, but it, it is kind of nice to see the, you know, the yeah. lineage. Wait, where are we at here? Oh, we need to return this the bow to this lady and then go do another mission. Um, No, she hasn't, but I would say uh, Fury Road. Yeah, Army of Darkness is another good one. Um, Well, The Matrix, which, like we said earlier, is not super R. Very dated, though, too. You know? Yeah, I mean, that's the Brown Brothers. The Matrix is really good if you're not Sam and Nate. So. You know, here's the thing: is I love the Matrix to me, but I I was surprised. I don't think you were. I, it sounded like you weren't defending it to Sam. I was like, oh wow. Because I, uh, I don't want. Because you know, I've known your brother for a long time, and I've many times heard every other member of the Whitest Kids except me say a movie I love is bad. So I just don't talk about it. When when, <laughs> when I, it's honestly what I do, because I'm like, ah, huh. I'll bring up a movie I like, and they'll be like, that's bad for all these reasons that. Personally, me and my head's thinking, like, don't hold water. And so I just don't say anything, you know? It's like, eh, eh, eh. Like when they said the Dark Knight's bed, I'm like, all right, guys, well, you enjoy your high horse, and I'll be down here with the plebes enjoying our movies. Um, same with Last it's Jedi. It's like, okay, you guys, okay. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean, I, I don't even remember. Uh, I mean, uh, The Last Jedi is the second movie, is that right? Yeah, that's the one where Luke doesn't do much, and so people are mad that there's women talk. Well, okay. There's some people that don't like it because it's it's uh, not Luke being a superhero and there's too many lady characters. That, but most people that don't like it just don't like it because it's kind of an unusual Star Wars movie. And I, I, I see why people don't like it. Because, like, Trevor's point was always, like, he's like, it's, it's 
it's like this is part of the Skywalker saga, and it's kind of trying not to be. And I understand that he didn't like it for that reason. I get that. I just like that it turned everything on its ear, you know. And I thought that it looked cool and that the action was cool. So, you know. My only problems with the second movie, and I I feel like when I think about it, I I liked it. Uh huh. But I I know that like. What's happening is like I'm omitting the things I didn't like about it. The you know, casino like, world. Like, no. Exactly. That whole storyline. <laughs> yeah. Like, these storylines seemed like really wedged in there. Yeah. They're dude. like, what do we do with these characters? Yeah. Oh, let's do this whole thing. And it's like, why? Everything else in that, that part was great. And then what I didn't like was when, you know, I, I enjoyed when he was like, you didn't come from anything special, you know, you're just... You're yeah, crazy. and then they turn it around the third movie. Yeah, and they walked it back, and I was like, oh. Yeah, that well, and that's why people like Last Jedi, is because they're kind of setting it up for, I mean, I was really hoping the way, the last shot of The Last Jedi is that, like, slave kid with a mop who suddenly, oh, he knows the Force a little bit. We just ruined the third one for for Jake Z. Sorry, oh Jake -Z. well, sorry. It's it's all like three years old. I mean, what do you want me to do? Uh, yeah, plus, Knights if you the public, I love like the the, the storyline to all those Knights of the Old Republic games. I wish um, they did more. With, Here's know, what uh, I think a lot of people that like Star Wars and aren't sure about the new stuff should get into is the new publishing wing of Star Wars, the High Republic, which is novels and comics. Uh, takes place 250 years before any of the movies. Like any Anakin... It, it's a, technically 250 years before Anakin Skywalker was born. And they just ended the first phase of that, and then the next phase is going to take place even before that. So about three or 400 years before all this stuff. So they're free to like not have to be about fucking Luke and Lan, you know, uh, or Anakin. And Yoda's still in it, because Yoda was still alive, but he's not even a main character. And it's a lot about like everything... The way it starts is kind of everything's going fine. <laughs> like, there's a lot of Jedi. And because they have li living in a time of peace, they've developed their powers a lot more differently than you see in the movies. Like, there's a lady who's just, like, constantly meditating and can connect every Jedi, like, in the whatever solar system she's in so they can all communicate through her as, like, a walkie-talkie. You know, it's really interesting. But so, and then the bad guys that show up are basically these pirate vikings that live in hyperspace and it's fucking awesome and i'm loving it because they're separated from all the other from all the they're not beholden to storylines like how the great mandalorian show now has to shoehorn in luke you know all this stuff the high republic doesn't have to do any of that they can just have a fun star wars thing and that's it you know so anyways check that shit out and they are making a tv show that takes place at the end of the high republic like 50 years before anakin's born um, but it's, it's, I think it's very cool. Anyways, so this is, a uh, Bean took over this town, and now it's like a giant beanstalk town. How did you get all the beans up the beanstalk? There's a ramp. Here, I'll come get you. I'll escort you. There you are. Here, turn around. Oh, hey. Hey. I thought this is the way we came in. No, it's not. I know, it's kind of confusing, but it'll make more sense when we get up here. Yeah, uh, someone was mentioning Colin Trevor. Don't go that way, you'll fall off. Colin Trevorrow's script for Episode Nine sounded a lot crazier than what we ended up getting. Yeah, I thought I thought Rise of Skywalker was just uh, kind of just a cop out in a lot of ways. I love how the funniest thing to me in Rise of Skywalker, and this is I guess spoil stuff too, but there's multiple times in that movie. When things are not going well for the main characters, and then the same thing happens in both these instances. It happens two or three times. A character will be in trouble, and then Billy D. Williams' voice comes in over over the intercom or, or walkie talk or something like, I got you back then. Don't worry, you haven't counted this old dog out, or you did count on the Blade of Falcon. You know, something like that, and then Billy D. Williams saves the day. It happens like three times in the. The last movie. <laughs> Why do you have like a cool circle around you? What is that? Oh, uh, it like if you're near me, it like is cool with you. But yeah, but what is it? You. Is it from one of your some of your gear or what? Is it? I think your... it protects you. No, it's part of my hammer guy class. Oh, chill. Um. Tim, what do you think of Kenobi? 
I think it's going to be great. I'm excited for that. Because even though that's a... Yeah, it's connected to the whole thing, but, I mean, there's a chance there to just have Obi-Wan go do his adventures, because obviously him sitting in the desert for all that time is a great opportunity to tell some stories. But, of course, they're going to have Darth be in it, so it's like... I just kind of want them to get away from that a little bit. I think that's an exciting period of Star Wars to tell stories about, is... The time after uh, the Emperor took over and before, like, uh, you know, the Rebels showed up. Did, did you like the Han Solo movie? It was all right. I mean, I think they set up some really interesting stuff, and it's too bad they didn't go further with it. Like, the whole Darth Maul crime syndicate thing would be... Could be very well done, but uh, it wasn't... wasn't to be. You have to talk to this guy. Punch, uh, punch father. I really like Rogue One. Rogue One is good. Yeah. Rogue One is cool. So the cartoon Rebels, like, basically leads up to Rogue One. And you know the crazy guy Forrest Whitaker plays in that movie? Yeah. He's like a big character in Clone Wars and in Rebels. Huh. And then he kind of just gets more and more extreme as time goes on until he's the guy in that movie who's, like, kind of a nut, you know? So it's kind of cool what they've done with some of that stuff if you pay attention. Like, they've really created new characters and really developed them, like Ahsoka and that guy and uh, you know, some other stuff. And I am... It's funny, deep, you've always been a guy that's like really big on like deep lore and story stuff. Who? So I'm surprised like, you never got like deep into uh, the Destiny video games. Oh, I, I did. We just never played them together. Uh, I played all through Destiny. I played games, Destiny 1 a ton. Yeah, I played Destiny 1 a ton. I played Destiny 2 quite a bit. But yeah, I haven't... I haven't been following Destiny, so I'm not up on... I know that the story has gotten a lot crazier. Because in the first one, it wasn't super deep, you know? But um, but the Destiny, uh, the action... I mean, if you want to yeah. talk... Who has the best, like, gunfighting action right now? It's these guys and Destiny. As far as, like, really cool kinetic gun battles that make you feel like you're in a movie, you know? Like, yeah. this and Destiny, for sure. I do like in Destiny, they, they do, you know revisit it it's not like they set it and then forget it you know like if something's not balanced they'll keep fucking with it keep yeah trying to change things yep like, they're constantly working on it which i think is cool and, but destiny they really make the different classes feel different from each other and like i always like to play i think they're called warlocks where they're a little more on magical magical stuff and i yeah. like to do the build where you kind of like double jump and like float through the air with a pistol and just like pick guys off like it's great you know um, yeah, Destiny's cool. Yeah, the new shit's pretty cool because you kind of like, the story is like kind of crazy. You invite the darkness into you and then you find out like pretty much the, the hive, you know, which is like this ancient race and yeah. it's like one of the bad guy races. Yeah. You find out that like in, in the new game, you find out that like they were initially supposed to be like chosen by the traveler to be like creatures of light oh whoa and they got screwed yeah. over yeah yeah by this other force yeah, oh, wow that's cool yeah, very cool so um the, the hive are like the zombie guys on the moon right yeah yeah okay. so like now you have hive that have ghosts like you have ghosts whoa so that's cool guardians. it's pretty fun all right where are we going Do we got time for this way. guy what time is it? 10, 20. How do you all think the Halo show will be? Um, I, I don't started, care about Halo, and it's, it's on. I don't care about Halo. I've never been a Halo guy, but I did have Paramount Plus, but then I forgot to watch that, that show before I finished my subscription. <laughs> I think there are only, like, a couple episodes yeah. in, but, like... I heard I've you can see... i the other Halo movies and stuff like that, uh -huh. and they're, like, really slow and dry... Um, but this, I was surprised how much I liked it. And I think Pablo Schreiber is very good in it. Pablo Schreiber is in it? He's great. He plays what? Master Chief. He's Master Chief? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Like, so, like, the story of, of where we are in the show is, like, there are Spartans, uh -huh. right? but they're, like, an early... It's, it's, like, they're very early on in, like, the Spartan program where, like... Huh. They're fucking killers. They don't know a ton about the Covenant yet. Um, they are still like infighting and shit. Like people don't really know a lot about who the Covenant are, but they're still like kind of killing people. Um, 
Master Chief doesn't have Cortana. That's like one of the story parts. Okay. Like someone him. said you. Uh, I saw someone say you, get, you see his butt. The, remember that show where we saw Master Chief's butt? That's, uh, that's weird, right? Or stash, yeah, yeah. Because you don't see his butt in the games, right? Are those are those butt games like butt showing games? Uh, I, I don't know if in the game, but I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm just being stupid. I don't I'm care. Sure it exists. <laughs> If you want to see it, it's out there. That's so true. Reach hasn't happened yet. Um, it's. I think it is the storyline of Reach. Because if I remember, yeah, there's like a planet that you go to that like something bad happens, right? Oh, hold on a sec. Hello? Hey, I'm playing games with Timmy on the stream. How are you? Did I watch a few good men? Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah, it's great. It's great. Um, I, I don't think I've ever actually seen it. But I was like, is that Christopher Guest? Yeah, it's Christopher Guest. He's, he plays like a doctor. Are you talking to Sam? Yeah, I'm talking to Sam. <laughs> I watched a few good men today, and uh, Christopher Guest is like just a small part of it. It's just oh. super jarring. It's a good movie. Yeah. It's super solid, right? Yeah. So, Sa so solid. we're streaming, and Sam had to go, but now he wants to talk to you about a few good men. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever heard of this movie called A Few Good Men? <laughs> where am I going? Uh, no, it's pretty. Uh, I don't think I'd ever actually seen it. Nate, I don't know where you are, but run towards the flowers. I'm. I think I'm behind you, Timmy. I know where you, but you got to bounce off these big flowers. Where are you? Oh shit. Yeah, are you way back there? Oh, I'm. I guess I'm doing this. I don't this. think I've seen Christine either, though, Sam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that trailer we watched made it look way, way cooler than I thought it would be. So. What movie? Christine. Timmy, you haven't seen Christine? Christine? I've never heard of that. Timmy said he's never heard of it. Christine. Oh, Christine! Yeah, I thought you said Christine. pristine, like the word pristine, like perfect. No, I've never seen Christine either, though. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy's like, oh, I haven't seen it either. All right. Well, I was very confused for Oh, right, what are you doing? I'm jumping on this house. Oh, or trying to. All right, if you want to get on the game, Jimmy and I are playing the game. Is Sam back? <laughs> All right, if, if you want to play video games, uh, we're, we're playing the game. All right, <laughs> bye. Yeah. But well, we can go back into All his right. character and st bye. at the starting if we want. Uh, yeah, I might jump on. I think, I think he finished what he's doing. No, I texted him earlier because I was watching, uh... Oh, I, just, I keep losing you. I keep seeing you and then, like... Okay, I'm way... Th so this is, like... This whole area is, like, made out of, like, separate islands of... This town's been, like... Oh, you Split up by this arrow. growing okay. plant, and so there's all these different little islands. I can't tell if I'm dying. Yeah, I'm dying. <laughs> Where are you? Um, I'm not using I, my powers. Uh, there we go. I'm back when you open the gate. Okay, maybe I'll come get you. Um, but that's I. I didn't realize. I saw. I'm watching the stream too, so I was like, oh, oh you right. shoot those barrels. Well, the barrels you shoot to blow people up. But uh, uh, there's, yeah, there's big red flowers that you can bounce off of. For some reason, I keep dying pretty quickly. But I think I'm shooting the barrels. <laughs> yeah, you don't shoot them for good stuff. You shoot them and kill people. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Nate and Timmy are doing the Call of Duty sketch live on stream. Yeah. <laughs> Ban that person for life. I wasn't even there. Ban them for life. Talking shit on you. I wasn't even there. You know what's funny is you guys have still never watched. Like my, I think one of my favorite sketches of all time is the uh, Vietnamese burrito. Uh, Vietnamese burrito. Yeah. Okay, Nate, here I am. Alright, there's Teamy Weemies. Oh, cool. Okay, there's ready? Alright, yeah. Okay, I was going this way. Well, let's do. We can maybe do the main mission? Oh, wait, now we're. We can do this mission where we have to feed a dragon.
Your screen keeps doing like a weird thing at the bottom of the screen. I don't know why. My screen or the stream? The stream, yeah. Why? What's it doing on the bottom? It's just like a little glitch. Maybe it's just made. Weird. Jeez. Anybody else seen a glitch? What is yeah, Vietnamese okay. burrito Yeah, what is the Vietnamese burrito sketch again? Sorry, we it's, it's Sam and Trevor in like what I assume is like a van, but they're, you know, it's supposed to be like a helicopter. Oh, the helicopter where they're they can't throwing. Hear each other. Close the door. Close the door. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> they close the door. I, I pre, I'm pretty sure we call that close the door. But anyways, that sketch is great. I think we did watch that once. That sketch is so funny. I love that sketch. I, I just said, like, I want to get one of those Vietnamese burritos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then he, like, throws the shoe out the door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crazy, that <laughs> sketch is great. So stupid. It's so simple. Yep. <laughs> Close the door. <laughs> I see the glitch, 1980s video color scramble. Yeah, it might be a loose cable or something. Oh, that's probably what it is. Oh, I see it now, yep. Okay. Uh, let me fix it. I mean, I know what it is. I know exactly what it is. It's because I'm using an extender. There it is. Um, yeah, let me see it. I kind of can't not use an extender right now, so. That's fine. It's not, it's it's just the bottom, so it's yeah, not Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's because I'm using an extender. And it comes and goes, right? It's not there right now. Yeah, so it's not permanent. Weird. So. Okay. All right, so is this the thing I jump off of? Oh, there it goes again. Fuck, now it's worse. God oh, damn it. it. Is. Uh, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, shit. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, what are you talking about, Nate? Uh, no, I was like, is this the thing you jump on? And then I stepped on it and it launched me, so I was like, oh, I guess it is. What I need to do is get a longer Razer USB, but I feel like it's just a normal USB, isn't it? So if I just get a long one, it should be okay for next time I do this. Okay. Is Sam coming in? I'm starting to lose. Uh, I'm starting to get tired. Yeah, if you're tired, let's. But um, I'll get up whenever you're off. Okay. Oh shit! What was that? I also drinking RC Cola, just sticky. I don't drink a lot of soda, so now I just feel sticky inside. You know. When you were in a ska band, were you also straight edge? No, 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 no. Well, okay, yes, but because I just didn't do any of that stuff yet. <laughs> okay, where are you, you now, by the way? Joe Cole. I jumped off of that thing in front of you, that, that toadstool. Okay, which way did you go, right or left? Uh, it just... Uh, oh, it just kind of guides you, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So you're over here by this house with the mill wheel on it? Yeah. Okay, we're going to be feeding a dragon. Oh, there you are. I like your goofy eyes. Yeah. Look at his eyes, everybody. Wait, do I have a zoomy one? Give me a zoomy. There we go. Look at his silly eyes. All right. One is bigger. Yeah. All right, we go up here. Uh, this is a this is a uh, side quest I did earlier. There's a dragon living in the bottom of this house. Is Timmy glowing from the cola? Probably a little bit. Uh, Do you know Joe Cola? The reason I ask about being straight edge because it's funny because we used to drink a lot of Joe Cola and then somebody was like, you know, if you're straight edge, you're not supposed to drink caffeine. And I was like, what? I guess I'm. Well, okay, aren't there like a food. million different levels of straight edge though? Yes, uh, like in SLC Punk, Bob is straight edge, but he drinks beer. You know, like. Why do I remember that? I haven't seen that movie in 20 years, but I remember that. What the fuck is the matter with We had a thing in New England called Vermont Straight Edge. What's that like, mean? You smoke pot? You smoked weed. Yeah. yeah. It's like uh, California or LA Sober. <laughs> 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 Did you drink red wine? Trojan Hero 24 says, Hi, Timmy. Hi, Trojan Hero 24. Uh, okay, so where's this? Uh, what are we doing? Travel to the Yo, Forge right in Tangle Drift. Oh, what now? 
Oh, we're actually oh, supposed okay. to jump on this toadstool. I guess we're going the wrong way. Right. Shit! Did you just fall? Dude, I fall in this area because I was playing this with my other character earlier. I fall so much. Cause, well, I mean, I think it's obviously part of the treachery of this level, obviously. But Chains of the Elder. I... What I... game is this? This is Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. Kind of like Borderlands 5. It, I don't even know where it respawned me. I feel like I'm so far away. Let's let's look and see where you are. Can I see it? Is there a map? Yeah, there's a map. Let me see if I can see where we are in relation to each other. Right, there you are. you are. I need to go left. Yep. So there they have, it turns out this town has this dragon trapped under here to feed their forge. That's, that's uh, kind of fucked up. Yeah, you know, but also efficient. Yeah, but I mean, he's he's sentient. You know, dragons are sentient. They can think and talk. They can also work. You know, they can get jobs. Yeah, but this isn't a job. He's trapped here. Well, was he like killing townspeople? Uh, maybe, then? maybe it's his prison. Maybe he was a criminal. Yeah, maybe he was a bad guy. That's a small dragon, right? That's why it's called a wyvern. Wyverns are smaller dragons. And there's also, there's this whole, when it comes to mythological terminology of dragons, it's all about tails and limbs. Because you can have a worm, W-Y-R-M, and I think they don't have arms or legs, but they have wings and like a tail, and a tail body, like a snake. And then wyverns and dragons, and like some of them have the hands on the ends of the wings, some of them have their separate arms. There's a whole fucking thing. The whole thing. There's a, it's very complicated. Excuse me, I burped. Okay. Ready? There's traps down here. Don't fall off the world. There's a hole right there. Don't fall off the world. Don't fall that way either. Uh, uh -oh. I think you just gotta be on fire. When I did this earlier, it's like, I think I'm just gonna have to be on fire for a little bit. What That's a Dolly sheep. Three? Yo, if you are a, uh, if you're a, uh, the magic user, what is the spell shot? Your yeah. first spell, you know, the first power you get is to turn bad guys into one of those flying sheep things called a sheep, oh, and then you can cool. just shoot at them. Is there a search mechanic for this game? How do you mean search mechanic? Yeah, what do you mean? Timmy. Since you said you had a Paramount Plus membership, do you watch? Call a Starlight yet? Uh, no, but I was, I think it was somebody on, someone was telling me about that on Twitter, and I was like, is it good? It looks like it tastes like space. And they're like, no, it's not good. Have you had it? It tastes like when you get, like, a Coke from, like, a movie theater, and then you also put, like, something red flavored in it. <laughs> okay. And, um... The ice melts, and so it's just kind of like a watered-down Coke. Uh, Jake, see, this is totally like an FPS, and I'm down for it. it yeah. Really, it is a FPS MMO, pretty much, yeah. Like, it, right. yeah, that is kind of what it is. Uh, it, the story, there's no the competition. Is or, so they, funny. They, there is some competition stuff, but basically it's squad-based. It's very close to Destiny. Uh, I don't think we have to go that way, man. You can go back oh, this I thought, way. I was like, we went down here, right? Do yeah, it. yeah. No, okay, so now we're doing find release mechanism, but there's also going to be a, su a sub, um, a second objective we can do about feeding him. Oh, maybe you did go the right way. Maybe we're Is the release we mechanism, aka the prostate? <laughs> maybe. Uh, which way? Okay, what are we doing? We are going up. Uh, go this way. Okay. Fuck, man. All right, I think we go this way. There we go. Okay. Find food. I think the food is this way. So I like to do the alternate objectives because you get better. It, it supposedly improves the quality of the, the loot you get. Resident Steve will ask if you have any, and, and I, I also want to know if you have any opinions on the new Star Treks. I've not watched any Star Treks. I've never been a Trekkie person. I haven't watched any of the new stuff. Uh, I've heard, like, some of the things that that, so what's that one? The Discovery's doing, it sounds cool. I like the idea that they, like, get flung into the future or something. And I like that there's a mushroom guy named after Paul Stamets. I think that's cool. 
he said as he murdered tons of mushrooms in the video game. Uh, but um, who's Paul Stamets? Paul Stamets is like a mushroom expert in real life who uh, believes that humans evolved from mushrooms and has some pretty interesting theories to back that up with. Oh yeah, the mycelial network. Yeah. Um, Does anyone in the chat watch Trek? Yeah, so um, so isn't there a character in it named Stamets or something? Isn't the fungal yeah, character? Yeah, yeah. yeah, so that's named after him. Like the, he also the developed a uh, a fungus that will get ants or termites out of your house by basically the spores of the fungus infect the worker ants and it like makes them go kill the queen and like and it works for, for termites too. And so he presented it to some different companies that make uh, pest control. And they're like, we're in the service, not the solution industry. Mm. So they didn't want it because it would solve the problem, whereas they want people to keep having termites, so they have to keep buying their products and services. Capitalism, am I right? Because everybody's fucked up and stupid. Lead food um, to pen. That's interesting. I should look into that. That yeah, dude, Paul Stamets. Sitting. And when I saw him speak at a thing in Washington, D.C., he had a, a hat on that was a mushroom cap, of course. He's And he's also into psilocybin. Like, he talks about that stuff, too. He, he talks about all these, like, properties of mushrooms, and he's like, oh, yeah, but also I'd, like, get real fucked up. <laughs> yeah. hey. Like, he does, like, the kind of, like, medicinal trips of psilocybin where you, like, meet God and find out a... You know, you resolve your childhood through hallucinations. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, the, the new trick is interesting because it, 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 it does a lot of stuff. Uh -huh. um, the second um, season is kind of like a prequel where like Captain Pike is like in it. Uh -huh. It's really fucking cool. And now um, he's got a show. Now there's a Captain Pike show, yeah, right? Yeah, because that was so good, but they had to they had to keep it going. So now that spun off. That's good. I really, Just because they liked I, him and liked really the guy who played Picard. Not you hate Captain Picard? Picard, but the show Picard. Well, and are they? Did I hear that they're gonna get the whole cast back now for Picard? I mean, they've already all pretty much been in it. Oh, okay. Um, Jordy's in it. Is. I love Jordy. Before. I don't know if Jordy's been in it. I watched a little bit. Okay, so my Star Trek background is I, I knew a little. Like, it's Go like. Ahead, well, hopefully, we'll see you tomorrow. I know a little bit. And I went with a bunch of friends to. Go with a couple of Trekkie friends to go see the one where Kirk meets Picard. The, that movie. Oh, yeah. Generations. Yeah, yeah. And. But I wasn't really a super big Star Trek guy. Where. Oh, close the gate. That's right. Got to close the gate so it's stuck in here. Okay, you stay in there. You co uh, now you open that, and now the dragon's gonna. Wait, eat am it. I supposed to close it? Oh, no, the dragon's gonna kill it and eat it. Okay. Um. Wow, he is definitely eating that thing. That is some noises. Everyone from TNG is going to be in Picard season three, except for Wheaton. Well, I mean, um, Riker and Deanna Troy have already been in it. Um, Find release mechanism. Data, or the guy who made Data. Sloan? I forget what his name is. He's, he's in it now. Q is in season two. Oh, Q! Um... Discovery got really bad. It got really weird. I, I really was rooting for it. And then they're like, we went to the future. But can we ride him? No, I wish. Lower Decks is pretty funny, yeah. Uh, that's oh, he gave us this is scale. Is that canon? Is Lower Decks canon, though? So, Nate, are you a big... Are, are you like what you would call a Trekkie? I think I'm more into Star Trek than I am Star Wars. Yeah. Um, but it's more like the next generation. I don't think I've really seen much. Although I did see Enterprise, I like that. Oh, one. there's a red chest over here. Ooh. I like chests. Wait, where'd you go? I lost you. I'm oh, still no, on the same there. island. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, that's fine. I wonder if Sam knows those guys, because he knows a bunch of the Rick and Morty guys. The, oh, Rick and Morty guys working on the... Uh... Yeah, there's like a comedy cartoon 
Right, Lower oh, Decks, decks. I know that. That's really funny. <laughs> Deep Space Nine is my shit. Um, yeah, man. I need to get deep into some other nerd. Um, Let's all get into Doctor yeah. Who. I've never really watched Doctor <laughs> Who. Let's just become massive Doctor Who dorks. I'm surprised you never got into it. Cause that's that's like uh, one of the. I I got really into. I'm surprised it. you never got into it because you're like whimsical and annoying, and Doctor Who kind of looks like that. So <laughs> no, but there's just like Doctor Who's one of those things where there's so much content. Yeah, it's like dude. Really easy to get into. There's like 45 seasons. Yeah, I think I I jumped out of Doctor Who when it went to. Um, is Matthew something? You know, like everyone has. Yeah, yeah, Matt Smith. It Who was Christopher. The new, the today. new stuff was Christopher Eccleston, and then David yeah. Tennant. I know this just because I know this. I don't follow the show, but it was Christopher Eccleston, uh, David Tennant, Matt Smith, the lady. Matt Smith. That's What's the funny. lady's name? Oh no, no, it was Peter Capaldi and then the lady. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I forget the lady's name. When I jumped out. But it was filmed. Oh, Jaxie says it was filmed. Didn't really get along with uh, the guy who uh, was it Stephen Moffat. What about Stephen Moffat? Uh, Eccleston quit because he was like, I don't like the way that guy treats like people. Oh. Like it was kind of a thing where he was just like, I just lost so much respect for him, seeing huh. how he would just order people around and like, oh wow, you know, make them do bullshit. Eccleston so does seem like a stand-up dude. Um, and I've watched one episode of Jordy the Whitaker, Sherlock yeah. show. Ooh. Uh, Benedict Cumberbatch of Sherlock, and you know what? And I know my friend Jordan Cooper. You know Jordan, old old yep. friend of the whitest kids. Yep. Uh, he's not old. We've just been friends for a long. Our friendship is old, but also he's we are old. older now. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> uh, so Jordan uh, told me this, and I I got really into Sherlock. I've I've all the last two years have been reading every single thing, that every single Sherlock Holmes story. Oh, nice. And it's fun. He, it's great. Uh, and so I was like, which, okay, I want to watch some Sherlock stuff. And it, everybody says Sherlock is good because I feel like sometimes, and I don't want to, like, slag on anybody, but sometimes I feel like we say the BBC version of things is better, and it's straight up because we're American and they have British accents. I really feel like sometimes <laughs> people get tricked by that. Well, and so they on. think it's like, it's better. But you know you what? Did see Elementary? So uh, that's, Nate, that's exactly where I was going. So Jordan said, uh, I think Elementary <laughs> is better than Sherlock. And so I watched one episode of Sherlock, and I watched uh, one or two episodes of Elementary. So I'd watch about the same amount of time on each one. And I was like, Elementary is more like a Sherlock Holmes show than Sherlock. For sure, 100%. It's a lot more like the short stories than about the original stories. It's like uh, not drawn out and not... Um, spending too much time on like all this backstory and stuff you know and they do it they do have that there's like you know ongoing storylines but the central part of every elementary episode is the mystery and um and i just don't think those stories need to be drawn out like they are on the sherlock show i mean the way they were written is like an episode of a tv drama you know so yeah uh it works because the you liked elementary then I liked Elementary. I've watched the the first season. I haven't watched more, but I do enjoy it. I'll watch it. I'll, I'll watch. I felt it was like a watered down. I, I, I like with Sherlock. Certain parts of it like blew my mind. Like, uh -huh. um, um, who's Sherlock's arch enemy guy? Moriarty. Mo that whole Moriarty reveal in Sherlock one was, I I loved it. Do you know the Moriarty reveal in in Elementary? No. Okay, it's 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 different. Um, I do like so I like that part. Um, the lady, everything in the in the um, uh, what's his name? The bet. Watson's wife. No. Uh, oh 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 yeah yeah yeah. I Irene Adler. Uh huh. Yeah, Irene Adler. That whole part. I feel is amazing in uh, the show, I think. Okay. Um, there are parts that get silly. I'll have to check uh, it out. I mean, I'll, I'll give it more time because, I, I mean, you know, I just love Sherlock Holmes and I, I, I just, from, from the little bit I saw, I thought Elementary was more like what I wanted. Yeah, the, oh, which is, I want to see Sherlock solving mysteries and being a pretentious dick to people. And I feel like Elementary was more of that. Benedict Cumberbatch is such a pretentious dick. Though. I know, I know, I know, but I, I don't know. I just, I don't know. 
There's something about it that works. Plus, elementary gives them this whole, I don't know, they treat the drug addict thing a little cooler, too. I don't know. May I, I'll give more time yeah, to Sherlock. The drug addict please. thing in elementary is more prevalent in that one. Yeah. Uh, um, <laughs> Panini Sweetie says, I've been completely focused on building this Darth Vader Lego for the entire extended Yeah, I see that's what. I'm on the last bag, but I made myself one drink, and now all I want to do is bitch about bitch Star about Trek. Star Trek. <laughs> okay, so when I was a kid, it was like, do you like Star Wars or Star Trek? And it's funny, because when I was a kid, there was so much Star Trek stuff, because they've been making the TV show steady for 30 years, and there was very little Star Wars stuff. Yeah. There was, when I was a kid, three movies, then a bunch of books and comics, and that was about it. Uh, uh, I guess you could count the droids cartoon show they had on in the 80s and the Ewok one, which are terrifying. So, yeah. have you? No, I wish they would combine things. I wish they would make like a Star Trek Sherlock type of mystery show. You, yeah, well, you know, just doing different angles using the properties instead of always having to make the same kind of thing, which Star Wars is finally getting away finally, from. Yeah. You know, Mandalorian well, I mean, is... with Lower Decks is doing similar, like, reach out, you know? Yeah, uh, you know, like, Mandalorian is what me and my friends always said Star Wars should do. Like, <laughs> you oh, know, so they should make a Western about bounty hunters. Yeah. Um, and they don't need to tie in all the Jedi shit, so hopefully they... Oh, God, I just fell off. Don't... Oh, so, no. Jaxie says there's a, there's a Sherlock Holmes game. Oh, yeah, dude, I streamed it in 20, 2016. It was great. We had a lot of fun watching me stream it. You get to play as the dog in one level. And, okay, so then they made a sequel game, and I couldn't stream it on the Twitch app on Xbox, and it never worked, and it never worked, and I tried it for months, and so I finally got to the point where I wrote the company, and they wrote back to me, and they were like, uh, it just doesn't work, and so, you know, you'll have, they basically said you'll have to do something else. I was like, okay. Oops. Fuck you. Yeah. But yeah, the first Sherlock Holmes game I played was Crimes and Punishments, and it was fucking awesome. Sherlock Holmes The Awakening is a Cthulhu crossover. That's cool. Oh, also, there's several times they've crossed over Sherlock with Jack the Ripper, because of course that makes a lot of sense. Because Sherlock uh, existed around the same time. There's a great movie from the 70s directed by the guy who directed Black Christmas called... It's a movie, and it's called... Murder by Decree. And Christopher Plummer plays Sherlock. That's a good name. Yeah. Because Christopher Plummer plays Sherlock in that. And I know they've had other movies where Sherlock fights Jack the Ripper. In fact, I mean, that's kind of a tradition at this point. I'm going to die. Huh? I feel like I'm going to die. Where are you? Are, are you right with me, surrounded by all these motherfuckers? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's getting nasty in here. Let's. I, I keep got to remember to use my powers. And that I need to be doing a lot of mailing. Alright. These iron mushroom guys fucking suck. Do you need saving? Are you dying? Uh, I, I don't know what gives me a death save. Do I kill a guy? Yeah. Or what? Are you reviving? I'm reviving you right now, but you can also kill a guy. Jeez. Okay, these dragons need to fuck off. Everything was so easy in the beginning that, like, it kind of ditched a lot of, like, the shit that, like, heals you when you do damage. Yeah. And now I'm like, man, I really should have held on to that stuff. Yeah. Oh, fuck me. You know what? I'm going to switch my hammer to the other hammer. Because my other hammer can slow these down. There we go. Where's that little bastard? There he is. If you had to go deep on a new TV series that you've never watched before, would it be. If I had to? Huh? Yeah, if you were like, alright, I'm getting into something new. Would it be Doctor Who? Uh, I give Doctor Who a strong shot. Let's see what else would I do. What if I just got really into the CSI universe? I bet I would enjoy it. Dude, I I, I did that. And did you? you? I, yeah, I didn't regret it. It was it was on like when I got out of work, you know. And uh, I think there's a CSI Pluto channel, and it's fun. <laughs> like it's just a yeah. fun, stupid show. You yeah. know, Like uh, some are better than others. And then like there was like 
I think the CSI Cyber was like one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Like I loved it. it so I uh, I think I auditioned for that. I auditioned for something that had a different name, and I think it became a CSI show. And I think it was that one. Um, it was I was it was the funny hacker guy, you know, fucking bullshit character. Yeah. You remember when Trevor was on that show and he played like the hacker guy? Dude, that with Christopher, uh, Christopher, Christopher, with Chris, uh, fuck, uh, Christian Slater. Yeah. Uh, breaking in. Yeah. I just remember Trevor describing what it was like to work with him. Because he's like, it was really nice and like he answers everything with a question. Like, if you're like, yeah, the weather's nice, he'd be like, it's nice, right? Like, yeah, the food is good today. It was good, right? Like, that's what he said. How Christian Slater like conversed. But he said he was like super cool guy, this is how he talks. But then I they like replaced Trevor with like a hot chick. They like we're like, we need more hot girls on this show. Yeah, well then the show like just disappeared after that. Yeah. yeah. That's what happens, you try and replace Trevor with a babe and then you you're gonna fail. That old that old problem. You do what we did on our show, you dress <laughs> Trevor up like a hot girl, and then you keep going. And everyone wins. That's a secret. <laughs> Watch Bleach. There's a new movie coming out this year. What is Bleach? Is that anime? That's an anime thing. Oh, are there people saying I should get into anime? No. When we're talking about getting a new a new TV show, we mean something with 100 episodes, not 800. <laughs> well, you know, people. I've, I've heard people talk of this thing called Attack of the Titans. Yeah. Oh, Attack on Titan, which is not a lot of episodes. I watched a couple of that. Really? It's a little. It was super crazy and disturbing. I is thought. That anime. Yeah. It's like these big, big naked uh, weirdos attacking a town. <laughs> That's literally what it is. Though. These people zip around on the airfoils from uh, uh, Tailspin. I love Tailspin. Do you remember Pirates of Dark Water? A little bit. You referenced it earlier. I mean, that Pirates of Dark Water was such a fucking dope show. And uh, I wish they did more shit with that. You know what I should get into and watch? And it's not a long show, so I probably could. This is another thing that Jordan loved. Uh, Gargoyles. Oh, Gargoyles was fucking great. I feel That's like Gargoyles was so dark that it set up, like, you know, it, it made that Batman cartoon possible, you know? No, the Batman one was before that, wasn't it? Maybe I thought they kind of happened at the same time. Oh, okay. like Batman got darker after Gargoyles. Sure. Gargoyles was dope as shit. Um, yeah, Frogware, really support that out. shit whenever Ukraine recovers. Is Frogware a Ukrainian company? Frogware is who made the uh, Sherlock game I was talking about earlier. Oh uh, yeah, no, everyone's been talking about it. They know all the, all the, the drama. If they want to be um, nice to me, I will support them. <laughs> Sam's been trying to get Trailer Boys sponsored by Pluto for a long time. Pluto Nash? Yeah. The man we, we, on the moon. No, no, Pluto, the TV streaming thing. I know what you mean. I was um, being silly. We need, we need Hortown to um, get jobs for things that you like. So, would you say Frogtown is the name of the... Frogware. Frogware? Uh, right, you, so Nate, when I, streamed on my, when I streamed on my own in 2016, do you know who we were seriously... Like, my little chat group, which you always name your chat group. We were the Straight Edge Pizza Crew. Even though we're not straight edge, but we love pizza. So anyway, straight edge pizza crew was trying hard, like uh, getting in touch with the company, trying to get me sponsored by Andy Cap's hot fries. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I feel the thing is, somebody needs to get jobs at these places. Right? Yeah, that's the only way to do it. Town, who needs, who needs a job? Start but we got to a place. point where somebody got like, there was an email, there was an email conversation <laughs> happening at some point, but I think they just weren't interested in like, I think it's not even that they weren't interested, they weren't interested in like stopping and what, like having someone watch me. They're like, we don't even want to like see what this is. <laughs> yeah. We don't understand what you're doing. Yeah. Well, and it was only like, I was only, I didn't have a lot of people watching me then. It was like maybe 30 or 40 at a time, you know, but um. Uh, yeah. yeah, but it was uh, Andy Cap's Hot Fries. Trevor and I used to, I don't know why, where this voice came from or why we would say this, but every once in a while, because, you know, there's Andy Cap's Hot Fries, but then he had a comic strip for a long time, right, Andy Cap? Yep. And so we would always like say, Trevor, or something? huh? He was like a drunken wife beater? Yeah, well, that's what Homer calls him. Hi, oh, Andy Cap, you wife beating drunk. <laughs> um, on Simpsons, oh, a mimic, shit. These guys always drop a lot of money, though. 
Anyways, Trevor and I used to always do this little voice to say, Oh shit, they gave the motherfucker from the Hot Fries his own comic. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like, it's just the idea of being that would be funny if that's how it happened. Instead of, obviously, they put his face, like he was a comic character and they put his face on the chips, but it'd be funny if they were like, We should make that guy from the bag of chips like a, a, a comic strip. When was the last time you saw uh, Andy Cap Hot Fries in real life? Uh, like a month ago when I ate them, they still really? have them here. Oh yeah, you can I, go, I, I, I go can get. I could go anywhere. get you some. I could go get you some right now. That's crazy. I, I, I haven't seen hot fries, or Dude. pub fries even, or cheddar fries. Nope. I haven't seen any. No, of that they're all around. Tomorrow. Also, uh, Coop's pretzels or is it Do Dots pretzels? That kind of. Heard of that? That's oh man, that's so those are some stuff fucking pretzels. Now. Okay, I where do are you? Regional snacks, though, you know, like yeah, but they're. I found out they're not that regional because Brian Collins from L.A., the movie guy, was, uh, I follow yeah. on Twitter. You know him, right? Yeah. He uh, was talking about it the other day. I'm like, oh, so they have him in L.A. Okay. Huh. Wait, you you know him from BME or something, right? Yeah, I do. Yeah. He seems He's like a really guy. good guy. He grew up with. Uh friends of mine right right okay um yeah what do we do i know he's he writes for bloody disgusting yeah he still book. he does other stuff like that he's still doing yeah. stuff like that yeah uh, i just follow him because i used to follow everybody that wrote for birth movies death and they seem like a good crew of people um okay so this is a side mission about don quixote we don't have to do that where are you are you over here uh, i'm looking for you on the map okay i'm oh, i'm uh, coming i'm oh, right I'm here i'm right behind you now too. yeah okay Let's just go. Murder church. Look at this murder church. Fuck yeah. <laughs> what is murder church? That's what, it just said area discovered murder church. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. That's one of my dreams to for humanities, to murder church and stop needing it. <laughs> Absolutely. What just happened? I died. Did I die? I died. That's a good line. <laughs> Nate, that, that was a good team up we just did. I was just <laughs> throwing that guy into the air and you shot him. Oh, fuck. I feel like everything is way, like, we got to that part of the game where we're, like, out of the... Uh, the easy mode. Yeah, place. yeah, yeah. You know, and I skipped all that side Wait, stuff what level me. are the bad guys for you? Uh, they're my level. Okay, all right. Um, but I'm just not that good, not that strong. Well, I just want to make sure you're not fighting the dudes that are like 10 levels above you. Because then that's just, that just sucks when I have it. Because that was the old Borderlands. If you jump in, if I was like level 12 and jumped in with a bunch of 50s, I was just getting like torn to shreds. Kanini Sweetie says, how many Evil Dead references are in this game? There's a lot of, like, cultural references yeah, in boom it so stick. far. So I wouldn't there, be surprised. Well, the, this side happen. mission over here is the, is the Don Quixote reference, where this guy yeah. thinks uh, he's fighting giants and shit. And then there's that whole Smurf thing. Which there's a whole fun. Smurf thing. Um, there's Star Wars jokes. Uh, there's... Uh, I haven't seen any Game of Thrones references yet, but I'm sure they'll make some. It'd be funny if their Game of Thrones references was like, yeah, we'll make them eventually, since George R. R. Martin is never going to fucking finish the book. Uh, burn. Yeah, nobody cares. Hey, nobody R. cares, Tibby. What? George R. R. Martin. George R. R. Martin. It's too hard to say your name, George R. R. Martin. Are we separated? I'm yeah, at the murder uh, church. Yeah. Where are you at? I'm, uh, I just, I climbed a mountain. Um, you climbed a mountain? Was the guy's name the, uh... There you are. J.R.R. Tolkien? Yeah, that James was? Royce Rule Tolkien. Tolkien, yeah. And then, do you think George R.R. R. Martin is Absolutely. Okay. Well, well, George R. R. Martin's a huge dork. Fantasy writers that both have R. R. Yeah, well, and and I mean, you know, Game of Thrones wouldn't exist without Middle Earth. But uh, 
he's a huge dork. Like his, I think George R. R. Martin's first published piece of writing is a letter he wrote to Marvel Comics in the '60s about like some sort of inaccurate, some some inaccurate thing that happened in a in a Fantastic Four storyline. I can't remember what it, it, it was like. Some it was some sort of detail he was like telling them they were wrong about. You know, like that's not how the things powers work or something like that. Did you see that George Romero Martin? I think it was written or produced like sci-fi thing. No. Night Flyers. No, I didn't. Oh man! Anyone in chat seen Night Flyers? It was super fucking good, but um, I don't think they're gonna do it again. Like it looked like it was probably very expensive, but it is. It, it was so good. I was like, I can't believe no one's talking about this. It's kind of like a space horror. Oh, cool. Um, which I feel is like a really... And I don't like horror stuff, but uh -huh. uh, like space horror shit, you know, um, Event Horizon, Sunshine, all that stuff is really cool. Night Flyers was like a space horror television program. I guess he got... Is it Vampires? Night Flyers? No, it's like... I, I, I gotta watch it because I forget a lot of the details, but they're like going somewhere and they have to, and certain people have like powers, right? Okay. And um, uh, they're like illegal. So they have to bring this kid who has these powers to a place. And it's like a very long voyage or something like that. Oh, okay. Um, and things happen. Um, right. Very, very cool. There's a lot of like interesting sci fi things I've seen. That like got bailed out, you know, like shit didn't happen, um, and it got canceled before. There, there was a good one that was on Friday night on like a major network, uh -huh. and it never aired again. And it was like two hours long. And I was looking into it. And it was like a thing where it got canceled like before they even aired the first episode. <laughs> so like, contractually, though, they had to show it Whoa. to promote it. What was and, it? I forget the name of it, uh, but it was like, it had Jimmy, um, who, who was the guy uh, who was in Westworld? Um, yes, that guy. Jimmy. Jimmy something. Jimmy Simpson. Like, Jimmy Simpson, yeah. So. Why the fuck um, do I know that? It's, it's all these people and they're on like a long voyage into space. And the the big twist is that there's like an AI program to help them deal with like the emotional drain of doing a deep space thing. You know, they're like, uh -huh. you know, the human body can survive with everything we have, but you know, mentally that's gonna be the hardest part. So we have this AI program and, and that's what everyone, you know, uses to like blow off steam. And then in the AI program people keep encountering this Jimmy Simpson character and he's kind of like a weird bug in the machine where like he'll kill them in the AI and they're like, whoa, that was weird. And then like, it's kind of infecting the ship or something. And then like the captain gets killed like like halfway through the first episode. They're like, we Jeez. don't have a captain. That's fucking crazy. Um, man, I forget what it was called. Timmy, happy birthday. Is it? Oh, where you are. How's um, my birthday, Nate? Enjoy. Long star. Long star said happy birthday. Oh, I thank was, you. I was waiting for your after birthday. Right. Do you like horror stuff? Me? Yeah. Yeah. Because you're, you're a uh, Shutter guy, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've yeah, been a loyal <laughs> Shutter subscriber and I have lots of horror Blu rays over there. What's He's up? mentioned movies that like I've only I only know that Sully has seen. Oh <laughs> yeah, like what? Just like you've mentioned stuff before, I'll like look it up and be like, oh, I I know that Sully watches like uh -huh. you know like weird weird horror movies that will be like some of the Yeah. Shutter does have some odd things. And yeah, yeah. You said something tonight that was interesting about like how streaming networks. Yeah. You know, well, we were talking about how like the 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 movie star half of it, where they like these guys just like putting crap out there just to make a few bucks. Yeah. And then there's the other half of it where people putting out garbage on low budget, just almost just just like ta like a tax write off and just like to just dump garbage out there and get cash and just mass producing. Not even what you would call movies anymore, just content 
for the yeah. content mill of Amazon Prime or Netflix for people to just sift through it, you know? Let's say on the, on, the, on the flip, it's really interesting, too, because in the past, if you were making a movie that you weren't going to have in the theater, right, it was direct to video. Mm -hmm. Like, you were hoping the rental market people couldn't see it, right? Mm -hmm. Now it's interesting because, like, in a streaming service, you can put it out there, and if it looks interesting enough, like, there's shit that I'll just turn on and watch, and then yeah. like, oh, it's like some foreign movie, you know, like, right. nobody's talked about, you know, nobody will see, but... Just because I was flipping through looking for something to watch, I found it and I was like, this is cool and I watched it. Yeah, you know, like, yeah and that can happen, which is, which is great. I've never been able to see something like that. You know? Right, and that's really cool that that happens. But like, a lot of these people are making garbage that they just sell to the streaming company, not even really intending for you to ever watch it. Like, look yeah. on Amazon how many goofy horror movies with a shark in them there are. It's crazy. Cruel Jaws, Santa Jaws, Dino Shark, blah, 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 blah. And it goes on and on and on. And, like, they all look like they're made for three bucks. And yeah. it's very hard to believe. Like, I was talking about Shudder and how Zach's like, well, there's some pretty cheap, weird movies on there. I'm like, yeah, these are all movies. Movies on Shudder are movies that people wanted to make. Like, Shudder is curated, meaning someone, you know, they well, have, like, a, like a, they have a council of people like paying attention things. to what they put on Shudder. They're not just yeah. putting anything on there. They, they get the stuff on there gets chosen. You know, not just like put up there because it exists. Um, and you know, uh, some of those shark movies, for example, are just like there's nobody, there's no one at the helm there. They're just making a movie to have like a 90 minutes of of, of anything happening. You know, what I wish Joe Bob had his own streaming service. I mean, Joe Bob's streaming service pretty much is Shutter. Half the shit they have on there, they have because he wanted it for. Uh, Last drive-in, or they already had it, and he made an episode about it. What were you saying, Nate? Sorry. Uh, what genre do you think has the most um, shit that you were talking about? Like, you know, they're just trying to make money. They do, well, they do it to horror, definitely, but also just like like thrillers and crime stuff. Because you know, we were talking about like all the garbage movies Bruce Willis got involved in before he retired. You know right. how many? It's uh, they're all just called like cop movie. Yeah. You know, and they just got him standing on the front in a trench coat. You know, there's a lot of movies like that, you know. Somebody Anything you cheap. something earlier that, like, I thought was interesting. Like, they were talking about The Matrix and how The Matrix affected, like, you know, movies that came after it for, like, ten years. Oh, yeah. Know? And it's true. It still does. So there's, there are, like, properties that come around that, like, change the game. You know, yep. like, um, the CSI type of things. Like, yeah. Like, that... You know, change shit. Um. How many fucking... You know what's a funny genre of movies? Uh, the movies that were trying to be Pulp Fiction after Pulp Fiction came out. Yeah. There's so many of those, and none of them are good. <laughs> um, uh, two Days lost, in the Valley? Uh, all these shows are trying to be mysterious. What now? And, like, Lost. Yes, you know, God. Like, they, they, you know, were competing against other fake Lost shows, so then, like... Their show ends, and you don't know how it ends. Yeah. Like, yeah, they die with their mystery. Probably should have happened to Lost. I think the best thing, though, you know, yeah. if, if Lost got canceled before it finished, then that would have been great for them. I love how the skeletons scream in this game. Everything, I, I wonder how, what, how big the, the voice acting team in this, is in this, or they use, like, a lot of the same voice actors. I don't know. In the past games, they kind of used their own team. This is the one where they started using celebrity voices, so I don't know. I swear I heard Tim Blake Nelson in that uh, in that Murph's side quest. But... <laughs> the old guy sounded like Tim Blake Nelson, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, when I was uh, hanging, when I was at that Gearbox convention thing that I talked about earlier, I like hung out with the voice of Claptrap, that guy. So. What does he sound like in real life? That's what he sounds like. <laughs> it's weird that dude. No, he just sounded like a guy. Like, I don't know. What? What, Nate? Sorry. Uh, uh, Panini Sweet says it's weird that Doom, I assume the movie, caught all the God. heat for Columbine when the dudes were dressed exactly like Neo months after the movie came out. No trench coats in Matrix Part 2. Interesting. That is a good point. Yeah, instead he's wearing like a weird, like, cool dress. <laughs> shirt thing. Neo's Joe outfits Bob after he becomes godlike are very strange. If you had to choose, Timmy, Joe Bob or Elvira? Well, what kind of activity are we talking about? 
Are we talking about watching them talk about movies? Or are we talking about oh. who fills out a black dress better? Because, <laughs> I mean, I'm all for Joe Bob trying new things. Cassandra Peterson still looks good. Doing the game, game was blamed for Columbine. Interesting. I feel like that's people that just aren't informed and don't know what the fuck they're doing. Well, no, they did though. They came after that stuff because, uh, well, uh, but those sure two fucking did, those two fucking like idiots made videos talking about Doom. Well, they made videos before they went and did it, yeah. and I believe they did talk about video games in that, but I'm not sure, 100 percent sure about that. Um, my mix. I am in a faraway well. Unfortunately. You fell in a you fall fell in a well? Oh, are they making fun of your vocals or something That's again? Fine. Well, how do we investigate the castle? It says that the quest marker is up there. How do I get up there? This is always a hard part of a game when you're streaming is when you, you get, get lost. Up, it, I saw you up to that ledge. Yeah, and then I fell off. Cuz I was trying to I got the dice or whatever. Oh. I just don't even know how you climbed up there. Well, there's these purple mushroom. There's a purple mushroom plant over here. I'm like, oh, okay. See that? So like get on that. On uh, wasn't there a trench coat scene in Basketball Diaries? Yes, that's a big. So. That was one too. Yeah. That was a big one too. Yep, they mentioned that one. Bro, I just remember when Columbine happened. They were talking about that being a thing. What a weird, morbid subject we've ended up on. Yeah. Hey, what's your favorite media that inspired two teen murderers? I think this is a very newsboy subject, which yeah. is pretty funny. Uh. Okay, so I can't get out of here. Leonardo DiCaprio gets paid to get blown in that movie. I always found that to be ridiculous. Gets paid to get blown? That's a yeah. thing, though. Isn't that a thing? That was in the book. Yeah, that was in the book. And that's a thing that happens, though, right? Yeah. Like, in real life, some people like want to like suck a dick, not get their dick sucked. And yeah. so, oh yeah, you gotta go outside the castle and go up this ramp. Duh, here we go. Alright. Here we go. Now we're cooking with gas. See, now there's the bad Did guys. Did you pay to blow Leonardo DiCaprio? No. But it's Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, but, but, I mean, no. I mean, I don't know. I bet his dick's gross. That's why he dates young women, because they're people that don't know what dicks are supposed to look like yet, so he has this, like, weird dick, you know? And so he can't show people his own age's dick, because they've seen other dicks, probably, so they know that his dick's all fucked up. That's my theory. What do you think? Is that a sound theory? Sound, yeah. The Leonardo DiCaprio theory? Dick Caprio. Hey, yo! Comedy! <laughs> comedy! I thought this... Which side is uh, it, does his dick bend to? I don't know. Probably mm -hmm. up... That's gotta hurt. I don't. I don't uh, know. I, I keep trying to follow you. Oh, did you say? You went okay, outside? go outside. Go go up to where we where that pink flower thing was, where that boss was, and then you go out the side. And there, there's like a leaf ramp leading out the side. This looks like it says magic an anus, but it says magic annulus. I think but we're calling it the magic anus. Though. Welcome, adventurer, to the magic anus! Oh, I should sell this. I never use it, and it's like level 12? Oh, maybe I should collect it for my daughter. Okay. So, uh... Nah, what's this? I talked to my daughter a little while ago, and... <laughs> She's like, what are we going to do for your birthday? I'm like, we're going to get to the part in Wonderlands. We can pick two class. We, we can pick a second <laughs> class. She goes, oh, I'm so excited to do that. I'm like, yeah, right? It'll be awesome. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah, she's so fun. Uh, okay, did you get up here yet? Get, no. I'm on this side of the wall. I don't know how to get on your side. All in all, it's just the other side of the oh, wall. Yeah. All right. Okay, buddy. So, I'm going to come get you. you got to go down the leaf ramp. Okay. On the... East side. Okay, so you gotta go through this little side door. Hey! Oh, I didn't even see the Right this way, here. my friend. Alright. And then there's this leaf. Okay, yeah, it makes sense. I didn't even see there was a door there. 
Do you have any other plans for your birthday? Are you going to be 42? 41. 41. Uh, my mom's like, what do you want? And I'm making... There's a chocolate cake and frosting recipe on the back of a Hershey... A bo of a box that... Like, if you buy Hershey's Cocoa Powder, they have a frosting and cake recipe on there that is fucking dynamite. I used to always have my mom make me German chocolate cake with that weird coconut frosting, but my sister's going to be there and she's allergic to coconut, so she fucking ruined that. That sucks. Coconut's great. Yeah. So, uh, anyways, but no, this chocolate cake is is awesome. So, having that, and then I told her, like, I want to get nostalgic and weird for the entree, so I want to, I, I told her, go pick up the Chef Boyardee home pizza kit. We used to always make it when I was a kid, and there's it's got a very specific weird flavor in the sauce and cheese that is very nostalgic, so we're going to make that. That's cool. Yeah. Timmy, we're talking about dick, not cake. Well, Jaxie, if you listened to dicks and not yourself, well, other dicks, you'd know. <laughs> uh, Nada asked me what I'm doing for my birthday. So, you know, uh, suck a big butt. My birthday has always been on, like, um, uh, spring break kind of thing, you know? So I yeah. never was one of those kids that had my birthday, like, during the school, you know, where people are like, yeah, happy birthday. Yeah. So I just thought it was weird. And then, what, um, uh, I, you used to lie on Facebook about your birthday so much that I don't know when your real birthday is. That's the best part of it, though. But So uh, you're not going to tell me right now. celebrator of birthdays. Huh? Well, like... I'm not a big celebrator of birthdays. Yeah, me neither. I hate the Facebook birthday thing. Because people, yeah. like, people tell you, people go on Facebook and see that it's your birthday, and so they just, or it'll say, Timmy's birthday's coming up, and they'll just say happy birthday, like the dog, like the mouse hitting the, the tab to get the cheese. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like a, it, it's like a. I did um, a good thing. It's a Pavlovian response, and it's like, they don't mean it. Yeah. And I'm sure everybody's very nice and wants to tell you happy birthday, but I don't think it, it's just like it's this like reflexive thing. Yeah. And so it's I don't take part I in Facebook it because it, though, it just makes honest, me. Like, it, I think it sucks. What now? I, I, it's the only reason I use Facebook is to see when people's birthdays are right. and wish them happy birthday. Up, keep, keep. <laughs> so here's the other funny thing: is I'm the oldest of six siblings, right? My birthday, April 10th, is also National Siblings Day. So yeah, it's like yeah. it's like when you're an older sibling, you spend your whole life watching your younger siblings get everything, and like, wow, you motherfuckers even took my birthday away from me. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. The siblings' day is not like a real celebrated thing. And they, well, you know how there's so many weird days on the fucking calendar. It's gonna make Sam celebrate. National though. Siblings Day. But you uh, should tell Sam, unless he's listening right now. Hopefully not. Tell Sam that National Siblings Day is October 26th. <laughs> well, see, here's how awful I have been in the past, um, and I've gotten better, but... Um, in the past, heavily quoted. My fake Facebook birthday thing started, uh -huh. like, it was Sam's birthday, and so I just changed my birthday <laughs> to Sam's birthday. And now, you know, at the time, I just thought it was funny, like, you're four, and I'm like, yeah, that's really shitty, that was a shitty thing to do. And then, but, like, I changed it every day, like, so the first time I did it, I changed it to Sam's day. And then change it the day after, and then the day after. So every day I would just change the birthday until Facebook's moving, and now like they don't even let you change your birthday. They don't let you? Not really. God, Mark Zuckerberg's a fucking piece of shit. What a dick. But, I mean, uh, I was abusing it. Right. Like, I mean, you're why they did it. Yeah. <laughs> but it is, it is shitty of me. <laughs> you know? Right. <laughs> I get that it's shitty. Um, have you ever considered playing Sea of Thieves? No. Um, but yes, is it fun? Sam got it. I played it once. I thought I didn't really get it. I was like really excited to acquire like all these things, and then realized it's one of those types of games where you start fresh every time. So oh, like, uh, so it's like Fortnite. Yeah, but it's just, you get like a boat, you can do all this stuff, but you're not really like holding, you don't really keep any of your stuff, you get into such a concession. That's one of the great thing about these games in Destiny, it's like, you get your thing and you like it, you can keep it, you can name it, you can paint yeah. it. Like <laughs> it's like, you're my favorite gun in the whole world, you know? And you know what I want? Sorry. Can no, go ahead, go ahead. I, did you ever play the Assassin's Creed pirate game? No, I didn't. Man, that is... That's an amazing game because like, uh, that'd be part four, Black Flag, right? 
Yeah, yeah. The, the Assassin's Creed games generally, like the mechanics and stuff, are good games. You know, the story yeah. is good. It's very deep. And, uh, the lore is crazy. Yeah, I wish they once, did more movies and stuff. Once they, once you find out that it's like, oh yeah, the uh, secret is that there was already some sort of technological society going on that created Adam and Eve or whatever, you know, yeah, yeah. whatever the end of part two references. It's, it's like it's, holy it's shit. It's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, like I love it. But uh, it's it's um, like that. The game mechanic and stuff is great, but then. Uh, Black the flag. Sea of Thieves part, I mean, not the Sea of Thieves Black part, flag, like, yeah. The black flag, yeah. The, the sailing part is amazing. It's so That's good. what I heard. is, And the reason they made that is because Assassin's Creed 3, which is the Revolutionary War one, mm. has, like, some ship battles to it, and people are like, that was the only part of the game I liked. Yeah, yeah. So it was it was really, really good. Um, and I would, you know, and it's like, all I really wanted was a game like that, but, like, that I could play with other people. You know, like, get a boat, and we'll go pirating. Uh-huh, that's cool. I guess it's kind of like EVE Online or something, right? I have no idea. What the fuck, Timmy? Spoilers are <laughs> yeah, about Assassin's Creed 2, which is, I think, older than my daughter? Yeah. Um, but they were kidding, obviously. But Yeah, what I loved about Assassin's Creed is, like, your weapon or... Like, the way they would, like, include real history in this crazy-ass conspiracy yeah. storyline, like, Leonardo da Vinci is making your, uh fucking gadgets yeah. and I think in the Revolutionary War one it's Benjamin Franklin right uh, I didn't play I that one oh, I don't think I played that one that's one where you're like the, the native dude yeah. who's a member of the Assassin's Guild or whatever and uh oh can I get yeah, that I mean nice I, do, I do love that story it's like Ostrigo versus oh like, shit ah, I got killed uh, da, da, da. what now the Templars are bad yeah the Templars are bad and the Assassins are good yeah I, you know it's uh, Here's the thing is like, as in, in nerd culture, right? And I can talk to you about this because I feel you are self identified. Um, there's a lot of hate, and a lot of people like to be spicy on things. But my problem is like, you know, people are trying to uh, make money off of these things, of course. You know, like that's how it works. Off so of what things? New content, of, of, of new content. Okay. Like so uh -huh. it's like, if you like something, you know, like, so, for example, I'm going to say, like, the uh, Assassin's Creed movie, uh -huh. right? Like, it didn't do well, they're probably not going to make another one, which sucks, yeah. because it was, like, such a good story, it could be a great movie. Um, uh -huh. but, you know, it's not going to happen. Um, the Cowboy Bebop live-action series, people hated it. And I'm like, I liked it. And they were like, oh, the Did you really? changes. It's like, yeah, well, uh -huh. if you didn't want to change, just watch the cartoon again, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I never get with that kind of stuff. It's like... But now... Because so many people hated it, they're probably not going to do anything else. Though. Right. You know, like, it's, there's probably not going to be another anime, there's not going to be another, you know, that's it. What right. What you get is what you get. Yeah. Well, it's like, to me, it's, uh, I don't know. And, you know, obviously I'm a spicy, salty, sassy gentleman, but uh, when it comes to things... I don't really talk about the stuff I don't like anymore because I'm like, there's no point to it to me. Yeah. You know? And uh, it's like when I, uh, especially when I moved to New York and I liked so many silly ska bands and stuff, and every once in a while someone would say, you have bad taste in music, I'd be like, ah, I just hate less stuff than you. Yeah. <laughs> That's kind of how I see it, you know? It's like, I, I, I just don't worry myself with what I don't like. It's like if you look at my letterbox profile, like, Letterboxd is the movie profile thing, right? And you can go on, and it's social, social media, but just for reviewing movies. And you can you can put stars in your reviews. I hardly ever go less three, than three stars on anything. <laughs> and so I stopped doing stars for a while, but then I started getting, like, I still have this, like, OCD drive that I have to star my reviews, even though I, I like everything at least a little bit. Something's kicking my ass right now. Is yeah, it all these dragons? Like, oh, there, all right. um, yeah, there's just there's so much hate in their culture. Yeah. And it's so toxic to like not only the community but for like the future of that brand. You yeah, know? yeah, like, yeah. If you're gonna hate on something that you love, you're like, they ruined it. Well, you know, guess what? They're not making more now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, they don't get to do it right. 
People complained about the prequel so much that George Lucas is like, fuck it, I'll sell it to the Empire. Which, you know, it... That's exactly what he did. The, it's like the better move, though, you know? Like, yeah. Give it to someone yeah. who's not uh, turned off and cynical about it anymore. Yeah. Yeah, you get, like, people who are excited about it. Like, right. I don't know if you ever saw those, like, kind of behind the scenes, like, uh, featurettes of, like, him making it, you know? And, at, and Yeah, nobody was telling him no. Yeah, it's really funny. Yeah, no one's telling him no. And at one point, he's like, Do I have too many story threads? And people are like, no, 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 it's great. It's yeah, great. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Everything, no, no really everything's bad. great, man. No, Jar Jar's terrific. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, ridiculous stuff, you know. Yeah, but also it's like, people were so upset about that. I feel like that, I feel like the prequel stuff was kind of the start of that, like, nerd, hardcore ownership, judgy, yeah, like hate, like, hate, kind of like thing, hating yeah. something becomes as much of a hobby as liking something, which is crazy. Yeah. You know. Which so I went to a wrestling show last night. I went to AEW. Fuck yes. In Boston. And it was awesome. My first to AEW, and I've been trying to go for a while. Had like, you ever been to a wrestling show before? No, not like a not like a, a real big one. Like wow. No, it was yeah. cool. And I've been following AEW and all like the characters. Yeah, they're cool. The so I was I was pretty excited for it. I, I wanted to sit like I wanted my first experience to be crazy. So I was trying to get like the floor seats, but like. Ticketmaster was sort of cock, yeah. and like being fucked off, and I kept like getting booted back, and like, and then finally when I got the seats I wanted, um, it like locked me out. It was like you made too many attempts, and I'm like, yeah, but you keep kicking me out. So uh -huh. I was I was really annoyed, so I was like, fuck, I'm not gonna. So anyway, we go, and uh, a friend of mine, she's like, hey, I'm gonna get tickets uh, to go with all of our friends, but everyone's sitting all over the place. I'll just go with you. And I was like, sure, let's go, and. Uh, we sit down and we're surrounded by haters, you know, we're like, people are like, this is fake, and it's like... Why are you here? Like, yeah, you go to, like, Batman, and you're like, it's, he's not really a Batman, you know, like, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's not real, like, every, we're, we're all on the same page. It's just like, it's just but like, also, you know what, I, also part of that is taken away from the amount of work these people put into wrestling, because... Yeah. There is an amount of reality to it. They are often hurting each other, you know. They have to yeah, be we, athletic. Yeah, we were there. They like, have to yeah, practice their shit, yeah. you know. Like, they're really, like, you know, jumping off the shit. But it's yeah. just, it was so funny that these people, like, paid money to come to this thing. Just the shit talk. Well, look at it. Everybody. Dude, from the comedy uh, point of view, look at a fucking heckler. Yeah. I'm going to pay money to go get drunk and yell at this show. What? Why? I feel like as a non-comedy comedian professional, though, and like, you know, I feel like heckling initially... I, I, oh, there's a chest up here, too. I feel like people are trying to, like, make the show better. And yeah, like, but they're idiots, and they don't know how shows yeah, work. Like, yeah, there's a whole plan here. We don't need you, you know? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I've seen uh, Tom Segura live a bunch of times. Uh -huh. Really, really funny. Yeah. Um, and uh, I've been seeing him, like, he's huge now, but right. I, I used to go see him at my place. I, I started watching his podcast when he was, like, episode 50, because Melissa, you remember my ex-girlfriend, yeah. she was a huge fan, so um, he is fucking vicious to hecklers. Is he? Uh, yeah, he's, he does not hold back anything. Yeah, he'll just, like, stop the show and be like, I wrote a whole fucking show that didn't have your fucking Yeah, exactly. Like, fuck seriously, fuck you. Like I, that's what I do. Whenever I've been had hecklers, I'm like, look, I don't do this cutesy, playful shit. I said, shut the fuck up. No one is here to hear you. I rule this sh stage with an iron fist. I've said that on stage multiple times. Like, fuck you. No one's here for you. Shut the fuck up or leave. You know, You're like, dick. huh? <laughs> yeah. Well, so fuck fucking dick. Yeah, it's like fuck. Like seriously, like. uh they think that like, I mean, what are they paying? What do they think they're paying? What What do they think they're there for? You know? Yeah. I just don't. I feel it. like on YouTube too. There's so many like, like Jimmy Carr and other comedians that like kind of work in like heckling comebacks, and they're said that you, you start to see it a lot more. Yeah. But people like want to get razzed or something. You know? They want. They want to be on a YouTube video. They want to be in Steve Hofstetter destroy them. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. God, so they're like that. Fuck. That was the guy he was making fun of and shit, and. Um, What's funny, so like Tom Segura just, he shuts it down to like where they're embarrassed, you know? Like where they're like, oh yeah, I should have done that because now I feel like an asshole. Good, you know? Oh, good. Do it, Someone yeah. needs to be out there belittling assholes. There should be jobs where we pay someone to just be out in the world constantly belittling pieces of shit. 
<laughs> no, oh, look at this guy, Cyclops, awesome. Like I mean, that's one of my main goals as a parent. I told people when my daughter was on the way, I was like, yeah, no, my main goal as a parent is to not give the world another asshole. <laughs> it's really, I mean, Which that's is, the um, main goal. What's that guy's name? Something Crawford? Chase? The wheelchair guy? I don't, I don't know. know. Huh? Mr. Wheelie Boy? I don't know what that is. He's like a, a politician, but he's like 25. Oh, Madison whatever, Cawthorn, yeah, the yeah, orgy yeah. guy? Talk about he got in trouble for talking about orgies at Congress recently. Yeah, um, uh, last week tonight had a part had a sound clip where he was like in his campaign thing he was like meeting with like young mothers and he was like talking about how uh, the demasculation of society. Oh God! Like, All you mothers out here, if you have boys, you need to raise them to be monsters and just like. Oh my God! That's so fucking stupid. Oh, Pogswet says, uh, I, I bumped into Steve Hofstetter at a college campus activity showcase. He and this creepy dude were trying to get young know, women into their van to play video games. <laughs> <laughs> no comment, but yeah, that's a surprise. So many bad guys everywhere. Yeah, there really are. Is that a problem? Don't you want to play <laughs> this to kill bad guys? They're all shielded now, though. I'm not, I'm not used to that. They're not shielded, they're just tough. You know? Punch Father. Yeah, I love the way they integrate the characters from the series just to be these goofy fantasy things. Malevolent Bloom. Oh yeah, that guy is shielded. Some of these are shielded. Shit. Did you lay down that shield? Is that your spell right now? Uh, this big blue dome thing? So you can throw the hammer. You okay. can switch your, your fiery hammer blast to like a throne hammer. That's pretty cool. And then you can like pull it. It's like a Thor million year thing. Oh, I gotcha. Who's Steve Hoss? He's for? he's a comedian, and he he gets whenever he like he's got all these videos on YouTube that are like comedian destroys heckler, so that's his whole thing. Like destroys them, like Mark like Cohen? yeah, like well, I mean like zings them back or whatever. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It kind of feels like just putting that out there is comedian encourages hecklers. Yeah. That, that. Because what it is is like you don't want to give them attention. You don't want them to feel good about it. You don't want them to think that it made the show better. And by having a big YouTube video out there where they're on there, it's like, oh, so like I helped him get popular. It's like, fuck, yeah, no, yeah, you're sending yeah. them the wrong message. The yeah, message yeah, should yeah, be that they so need to throw themselves into the ocean and leave reality. <laughs> 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 That's the message. Right. There are so many factors in this game that are like really fucking hard. You know, like you have to read so many things. Okay, this triggers frost damage when yeah. your shield breaks, and then like this does something totally different. Oh, but people are talking about the Lego Star Wars games. I think I might get the new one. I think it just replays the Star Wars trilogy, but it looks awesome. Well, it's a whole Star Skywalker saga, so I suppose it's all nine movies or whatever. But uh, do they just put the old ones in and then add like? I think they, the I think games? they redid everything. But uh -huh. let's see what chat says. Did they just redo the whole thing? Because Quirky is talking about it. What, what, what team does those games? Because uh, T, they, they're the other TT, not Telltale Traveler, Traveler's Tales. Oh wow! Yeah, they've got it down. Yeah, no, the Lego games are fun. I, I was like, you know, Psychonauts is a game I really like. I wish I'd do another one of those. Then I found out they, they did. Have another one. They just did. Um, yeah, I need to play it. It's on I, uh, Game Pass. So. Yeah, I never finished Psychonauts 1. I really should. I know I'd oh, like it. Huh? That's a fun game. All right, do we got any vending machines here? Let's talk to Punch Father. we got to be close to the end of this mission. I feel like I like the, um, 
the Lego games, they're fun and funny, but like, I, I don't feel they, they're hard enough. So that's why no, I they're never hard enough. You can't around. really die. You fill up the meter with enough Lego tokens and you don't have to worry about dying, ever. So it's kind of like, uh, not very climactic, anticlimactic. Enter the Parasite's Lair. Parasite Hilton? Oh. <laughs> okay, I just Did shot that target. Seven? I went down this slide. Okay, I'm right Holy back. shit. I wish my TV was, was like, huge in, in my face. So I couldn't see anything else right now. And just Rex Bosworth lives said, It's already your birthday here, Timmy. Happy birthday. Looking Sweet. forward to seeing you in Trail Thank Boys. You. What martial arts movies are you into? Uh, ones with punching and kicking. Uh, generally ones not from here, but, uh, you know, uh, I want to, uh, if I'm watching a martial arts movie, I want uh, the camera pulled back, and I want as Love little moments. editing as possible, and I want full body shots and choreography. And so that's why the old Shaw Brothers movies, they really did that. But, you know, you've seen that uh, nowadays with stuff, too. So, Okay, did you come down? Did you find the big, long ramp? Are you coming? Yeah, Here I'm you still go. on it. <laughs> it's it's yep. taking me forever. Um, hey. We did have a big discussion about, like, what is considered a martial art. We just settled on hand-to-hand -hand combat, pretty much. You know, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think that works. Uh, I wonder if anyone put on the trailer for The Night Comes for Us yet. Which is an extremely bloody Indonesian martial arts movie on Netflix, which fucking rules. Uh, if you um, want to see a character realize that they have, they get in a big fight, beat the other character, then realize that at some point that other character had used piano wire on their hand and that their fingers are now severed and just pulls them off their own hand. That's wow. a that's a move. That's a good movie for that. If you want to see that. Trailer Boys is getting pretty intense because people will like see a movie they like. And then be like, well, the trailer isn't that good. So they'll edit their own trailer. <laughs> or they'll see something that, like, is, um, like, well, so the editing the own trailer is fine, but I feel that, like, I, I don't want to go down that road. So, it, you know, it, it, it's a lot of work. And yeah, that gets... Somebody's trailer, I feel that's really shitty that we put work into it, and then, you know, we just didn't get to see it. Yeah. And I also don't want to be like, well, we're definitely going to watch your trailer because you, you put work into it. But... Other people have done cool things where they've they've made a TOS unfriendly trailer TOS friendly, and that's awesome. Because you know some trailers we just can't really watch. Oh, I get you, I get you, yeah, yeah. That's that's a good idea. Oh man, I'm like, uh, run I guess I should just stay up until I turn 41 because now it's only a few minutes. But uh, You're six hours into a stream, Timmy. I know, man. I've been fucking putting myself out there for the people for fucking forever. Timmy, have you shown your daughter Ombak? Yes. Who asked? Did someone ask that? Yep. Uh, yeah, we started watching it, but we didn't finish it because she didn't like the part where uh, right before the rope fist fight, about half an hour before the ending, the guy shooting needles into his arms, and she didn't like that. So. <laughs> Isn't there a part where he like, elbows and uh, knees an elephant in the head? That is in the second one. Uh, not the second one, but uh, The Protector, his second film. Which is about a guy goes to rescue his village's kidnapped elephant. All right, Nate, there's a boss down here. Right. Let me know when you're ready. I'm coming to you. Um, yeah. What's going on? I'm coming to you. Oh, there I see you. Um, I like Tony Ja. He was in um, the third Triple X movie. Yes, which is a pretty good movie. I still feel it's a crime that Michael J. White wasn't a bigger star. Yes, absolutely. fucking -lutely. The guy about this. is funny. The guy is good looking. He's a good actor. He's got fucking martial arts moves at the wazoo. Uh, up the wazoo. Up the wazoo. Um, right. He made a movie called Blood and Bone, which fucking rules. Uh, and he shows some serious moves off in that. And... His sidekick in that movie is the actor who played Rufio in Hook. Oh, yeah. Rufio. What the fuck is that guy's name? That actor's name, I forget. Dante. Dante something.
Oh, this guy has three levels of health. He's got shields, and now we're at flesh, and then we're at bone after that. How can you tell? Shields are blue, flesh is red, bone is gray. Oh, wow. So fire works on flesh, and then once you get yeah, the bone, yeah. it's uh, freezing. Poison works on shields? Uh, electricity. Poison works on the yellow one, which is armor. So what, what's good for red? Uh, fire. Fire. I don't think I have any fire. And I happen to be a berserker, so... This is good for fighting the bones. Oh, look at it. Look how badass this guy looks, though. Look at that. He's like a fucking mushroom guy with a bone head sticking out. That is That's insane. Cool. If I was stoned right now, that would be a problem for me. What the fuck, man? That's what I'd be saying. What's, What's good, good for bones? bones? Uh, uh, coal. Coal, right. Like, yeah. Really? It doesn't matter. Just yeah, come over here and be... fucking shoot him in the face with me. I'm dying. Is there somebody to kill? Yeah, I got somebody to kill right here. Come here. Hook is inherently flawed. Rubio shouldn't have died. It should have been a movie about Rubio teaching Peter Pan how to be a kid again, while Peter teaches Rubio how to be a kid again. Whoa. What are you, a screenwriter? That sounds great. All right. He's dead. Rubio was in the Dark Knight? What? No, Michael Jai White was in the Dark Knight. What was he in the Dark Knight? Michael Jai White is the gang leader in The Dark Knight who, remember he paid, he's like, I'll pay you a million dollars to bring me the Joker dead. And they oh, bring him, shit. and he's he the guy really that the Joker that. puts the knife in his mouth and says yeah, like, yeah, yeah. my father was a drunk. Uh, or, or is that the one about his wife? Whatever. Um, yeah. Michael Jai White. So yeah, he's is there in a, a chest in here? Huh? Is there a chest? There's got to be a chest in here somewhere. Yeah. Um, and no, it's oh, funny because I... He's now in all those never sense. back down like, yeah, movies. What now? Just, he looks so young. In that. Yeah. Well, the guy still looks the same. Oh, have you ever seen Black Dynamite? Uh, no. I, Black Dynamite. It, though. I said it's funny. Oh, they submitted it for the martial arts movies? Yeah. And is it true what they say about Black? It's a, not a martial art movie. What now? Uh, it, is it true what they say about Black? About what? Black. Black Dynamite? No, just Black. What do you mean? They say it, it don't crack? It don't crack? Do you mean, does he still look young? Yeah. I mean, well, I think so crack. sometimes. I think I think he he's one, a person that ages very well, at least. I don't know if it's... Did he play Spawn? Yes. Oh, that was him. Man. Anyways, Black Dynamite is like Michael Jai White's kind of pet project parody of... Like uh, a black exploitation movie? Yeah, yeah. And, and it's really funny. And you can tell it's not like... You know, some of those parody movies either don't want, know what jokes are, yeah. uh, where they just think referencing something counts as a joke, or the they... Family Guy style, style Yeah, movie. you know, like uh, Meet the Spartans and all that shit. Or they're mean. Uh, Michael Jai, uh, in a, uh, Black Dynamite, you can tell that they like... Hey, there's a chest right here. You can tell that they like... That he likes black exploitation movies. He's just poking fun at him, and it is a fucking hilarious movie. And now he's got a, a same style western coming out called The Outlaw Johnny Black. I think it's called. Damn it! I missed the chest. Where are you? Uh, I just went through the portal. I thought okay. I when you come you. out of the portal, there's a chest right here. No, um, I think I'm ahead of you. Oh. Oh, you went through that portal already. Yeah, just. It was oh. like, oh. Quest complete. Ooh, we got achievement sounds. Chivos. Chivos. What time is it? Oh, I'm 45. Oh, God. Might be about that time. Well, you are having a birthday in 15 minutes. So I know. I know. should just stay on. We could, we could do 16 minutes. Okay, there's a side. Okay, this is very funny. We should just observe this. There's some sort of portal situation where the sheep is just falling. I think it's very good. That's hilarious. 
Oh, there's a side mission over here. Let's see what it is. Was it? Is this the one about? If this is the one about the magician, yes. Okay, this mission rules. It's kind of hard at the end, but it's short. Let's do it. What up, punished walrus? Look at this guy. He rules. Talk about pirates. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this. I should do this. Oh, did we get skills? I did. Did you did level up? Skills. Yeah, did you level did. up? Yes. How do I change between my classes? Did you add a second class yet? Yeah. What do you mean? You just pick the abilities. Oh, and then wait, make sure that you like... have the uh, make sure that you have the class thing turned on. Hey, look at my stream real quick. Here. Oops. Oh, yeah. oh shit. I just used my power on this poor man. He's fine though. Okay, uh, okay. Look at my stream look at my st the stream real quick. See how I have Berserker and Graveborn, right? So you wanna have you wanna make sure that both of these the things on the top are active, your class feet. You want to make sure those are both active, and then you can pick one of these skills. You probably don't have this one open yet, but you want to pick one of these skills. Oh, uh, okay. You probably don't have that fourth one open yet, right? Where? Oh, I'm, the stream's a little delay. Okay. A little delay. Yeah, okay, I get what you're saying. You don't have that fourth one yet, right? Fourth meal? Fourth one. Look. Look at my screen. Yeah. Okay. All you, right, so, but, like, you can't do Berserker and Greyborn at the same time. Yeah, I am a Berserker and Greyborn at the same time. So So how do you choose... Well, uh, you have both class know, feats yeah. active all the time, yeah, which means no. I get the companion guy for this, and I get this this enraged skill that the Berserker gets, okay? So I have both those active. And then I can pick any one of these four skills to be using at any time, and I, and I can put points in both trees. And so I put, try and put... Can boy, you respec in this game? Ever? Yeah, at the uh, costume change machines. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yes, Punish Waller, so it'll be my birthday in a few minutes. At least in my neck of the woods. I'll be 41 years young. Alright, where should I put a point? You know what's really cute? I was watching my... Like, I, when I'm playing with my daughter, I don't pay attention to what she's doing with her character. But the other day when we were playing this, I looked over, and she is working on putting even numbers in all of her skills. <laughs> and I was like, wow. And I guess you could do that, right? I, I don't well, know. Well, I mean, isn't, like, when you are playing, like, tabletop or pen and paper or whatever, uh -huh. isn't, like, even numbers, the, like, what bumps you up a, a percentage? Yeah, maybe it can, but like I always like, feel like when you, uh, but I mean I probably did that when I played RPGs when I was younger, even, like just in the old Fallout games and stuff, you know. Matt is a human, says no fucking way. WKUK streams. Whoa, are you in for a treat? Yo, Matt, after I'm done, which will be in a few minutes, uh, go to YouTube.com/slash/WKUKVODS. And you'll see over a year's worth of these streams saved uh, as YouTube videos. There's video game streams, there's cooking streams, there's talk show streams, there's Sam talking about his muscles, I think, now? Is that a, a thing we do? That's a thing we do where Sam talks about his body? <laughs> Is that what he does on there? I haven't watched yep, it. that's it. <laughs> There's a whole sad story arc too. Don't forget about that. Oh, I can't. I didn't know about that. He talks about being sad about Trevor's death, or what is he? No, oh, yeah, no. I'm saying, I'm saying the channel. <laughs> oh yeah, the channel is sad now because <laughs> Trevor died. So yeah. Sad story arc. The yeah, there is a very sad story arc. Uh, Zucchini boys took a seriously serious dip in frequency. I'm gonna get back to it. I want to do it this week. We'll see. I have Nate. Do you know the idea that Sam came up with that I'm gonna do? <laughs> I've told no. I've told you. Anyways, hey. huh? Well, I'm not gonna tell you on stream because I want it to be a secret. But secret, yeah. it involves um, physical change. I'll have to undergo a physical change in order to do it. So I'm just. <laughs> oh, interesting. Am I streaming Thursday? We'll see. If I don't, I'll definitely stream something on Thursday because I missed this week. Uh, if I, I don't, don't want do you cooking, and Sam play this more. Huh? 
I want to watch you and Sam play. Yeah, this dude, I feel this, like game this is, is this fun. is a fun game to watch. Yeah, yeah. not that fun to watch. What is it fun to watch? Some games just aren't generally right. fun. I think Doom watch. is fun to watch. I think this is fun to watch. Um, I, I don't want to play. I want to play a game that's loud and colorful and crazy. You know? Did you finish Doom Two? No, I haven't played that one much yet, actually. Okay. What are we doing now? Talk to Zosif. Oh yeah, this is fun. Okay, well go through this portal. This is gonna, this is a, a this mission's crazy. Ratty Shack. Timmy Doom was dope. Yeah, there's more of that coming because I want to play through all. I played through Doom one. Gonna play through Doom two. Then I'm gonna play through the new ones. And some people are. We have a couple. Uh, chat folks who are uh, members of Horta who are ex like Doom scholars and they're telling me I should also play Doom 3 and Doom 64 but I'm not going to get through all that so I'm going to do Doom 1, Doom 2 then play the 2016 Doom which fucking rules and Doom Eternal which I never finished so I would like to finish it for the first time but I mean the at the rate that I stream lately especially since Trevor's passing it's like uh that'll probably take me a year <laughs> So we'll see what happens. All right, Nate, come out, come on over here. Let's go in this uh, portal, and then things get pretty funny. Ready? Yes. So we've shrunk. We're shrunk now. We're little. My inventory's full. Fuck beans. I hate that. Were we were we just buying a machine and I just ignored it? I think we were. This game, that's that's the one thing where like this is similar to Destiny. It's like Destiny is such an inventory management yeah. game. Yeah. But it's it's fun to manage your inventory, and they even make comments on it. Your character is like the other character I have. A, I play a lot. The the spore ward and the mushroom lady says, uh, I I love math. Or I love numbers, especially the big ones." And, just, you know, so they make they know what the game is and they kind of make comments on it. Oh, teeny tiny, teeny wings. Teeny tiny, what does it say? <laughs> teeny tiny, yeah, but okay, you could go even further than that. Teeny tiny, teeny weems, tiny Tina at Wonderlands. Because that's what this game is. So teeny that's tiny, we're gonna call it teeny tiny tiny <laughs> Tina's Timmy Weems <laughs> time. <laughs> Tim, Timmy Weems is t Timmy Weems is teeny tiny tiny Tina's time. There we go. Right. Yep. <laughs> oh, you know what? I love this one. Though. I don't want to get rid of it. Get your fucking frozen laser out of here. I was trying to shoot you in the butt. Alright. See, I have this poison cloud thing. Which I just Whoa. love using. I can't not use it. I gotta drop some white stuff. Oh, there's a guy stuff. right here. Yeah, the big guy? Yeah, I think we're supposed to talk to him. Blenson. <laughs> Zosef and Blenson. <laughs> this is Mr. Simmons in the tub. Says, can't wait to sing happy birthday alone in my shitty condo. <laughs> oh, look, we're <laughs> supposed to climb up this guy. This is hilarious. <coughs> Blenson. All right, I'm going to drop some green things because fuck it. I'm rolling deep. Wait, right, was that an enchanted green thing, though? Yeah, I should pick that up. Oops, mine now. Do you want it? No, no, I'm just kidding. It's, everything's way too high level. I can't even. Yeah. See, here's the thing, is like, you're used to the um, Borderlands 3 stuff, though. A lot of the elemental damage, like, versus, you know, flesh and bone, like you were saying. Uh -huh. I, I don't even know that part, you know? Like, right. Well, you can... Like, I do realize, like, oh, I, I'm getting critical using fire on yeah. these guys. Yeah, exactly. Well, they explain that stuff to you in these games in dialogue, but I do understand when people are like, I don't listen to all the dialogue, because there's a lot. Are you supposed to listen to the dialogue? Well, no, no, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Sometimes they explain stuff. Yeah. Oh, this is... That's right. Over here.
I love my floating skull head. Ugh. Yeah, so what's cool is when you pick two classes, you can do two pet having classes. Where you can Ooh, get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like, that's nice. what Ly uh, Lila did. She did a. Or no, her, I think her husband did that, where he has the dragon and the floating skull head guy. Okay, we jump on this thing. And it falls. Okay. All right, then we uh, got to jump onto this bookshelf. Did you fall down? Fall down no. back here. Then you want to come down again. Okay. And then you jump over to this. Oh, God. Except you got to do a good jump, not like my shitty jump. Yeah, there we go. I think we go this way. This part's confusing. Oh, here we go. Whoa! Is this a boss? Yeah. Oop, can't jump off that. <laughs> Pushes you back. Did you just die? No, not much. Oh, oh weird. <laughs> oh, I, we're supposed to look at this. Oops, okay. Three minutes from being older. Little tiny Timmy's pig dick in Tina land. That also works. They gotta work in teeny tiny ca again because we're shrunken now. So he's a normal sized skeleton, but we're little, so it sucks. Okay, this guy does. He's like a skeletor. He does. He does this. I hate that fucking move when bad guys in video games do that. The beam you gotta jump over. God. Yeah. I hate the fucking jumping beams. A classic bad guy move. I'm gonna die. Where are you? And, uh, You're dead? Uh, yeah, I gotta shoot something. I gotcha, 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 gotcha. Try not to die myself before we- oh, Did I get you? God damn it! Motherfucking tit shit. There we go. Oh, get out of those circles. Okay. You need to fucking cool it. See, I jumped to that one and I still got hit. Yeah, so this, there's circles and stuff. There's a lot going on here. Oh, this laser's pretty good for this guy. Oh, now he's immune because he's healing. He's heal he heals, which sucks. Oh, shit. Are you down too? Yes. Damn it. Do we have anything we can kill? No. Can I heal you? you I don't think we can heal each other when we're dead. Damn it. Well, that sucks. Why is Nate's audio coming from the dungeon where he keeps the women tied up? I thought we had your audio solved. I thought it was fine. It, 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 I think because like the delay is so long, it's like you fix it, and then people are like, "Oh, it's good." But then, like by the time we read that, you know, like well, something has happened. We've already changed it, you know, like. But I haven't changed it in a long time. Yeah. Wait. Why you know what I mean? Right? Like it's been hours since I even had been over there. Okay, we have to go back in this bookshelf area. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, uh. Fight this fucking asshole again. Okay, jump the holes. Jumping. God damn it, I still get hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really particular. It sucks. There's got to be health drops or something, too. This is just... Fucking green guys oh, jump. Lord. God damn it. Yeah, this guy's aggravating. Because I was playing him right before we streamed, and I remember shouting, like, yeah, fuck you. See, now there's nobody to shoot again, so it's like, what do we do? God damn it. I think you can shoot those green skulls. Yeah, where are they? Um, yeah, exactly. You know what? We should not be dying at the same time. Are you dead, or are you still there? I died first, though, so... Okay. Hey, it's my birthday now! Thank you! Thank you, everybody! I'm 41 now. Oh! I can Happy feel birthday. it! Oh! Oh, no, I can feel it happening! Oh! I'm 41! Oh! Okay. <laughs> what if that happened? Every year when you have a birthday, like, you feel the age enter you? Yeah, I mean, my, my body is sore all the time. How old are you, 42? Uh, yeah, 42. Are you older? I remember, than <laughs> you remember when, you know, Trevor had his 
first COVID birthday, and it was like 1840, and it was like the whole video thing. Yes. Um, I thought it was being really funny. Oh, I don't know, I see what happens. The you Paul have to Rudd way early for that. Yeah, okay. Um, you know, everyone is a professional comedian and making all these hilarious jokes. Yeah. And so mine was like, uh, turning 40 sucks. And it was like really God depressing. damn it. <laughs> like, when I finally saw it edited together, Nate, can you save like, me? oh yeah, it's really, really not funny. And especially next to like professional comedians. <laughs> can you save me? Please, 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 Oh, did you oh, hit me? Oh. Here's the thing. Are we supposed to shoot him? Yeah. Okay. Because that's what I've been doing. I feel like yeah, have you not been shooting him? No. <laughs> I have been shooting him. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> have you not been shooting him? Uh, maybe I don't have great... Um, I shouldn't be turning people into sheep because I don't think that's going to help us here. No. Oh, or you have... That's your other uh, class as a spell shot? Yeah. Um, cool. But then when you get, so you don't have your I'm second switch back spell to shot. Hammer guy. Huh? I'm gonna switch back to hammer guy. You don't have your second spell shot. Sk oh, fuck. Why am I bad at jumping on? No, I only have the first spell shot. Okay, the second spell shot skill lets you carry two spells of whatever you want. Mm. It's pretty dope. Thank you, everybody. All right. Well, we gotta kill this asshole. This is. Stupid. I feel. I don't know how to stay alive here. Okay, so jump in Okay, I hit the beam. Oh. I hit the beam. God damn it. Right, and then you gotta get out of the way of these holes, that. which they got me again. It's so hard to watch. I don't know what. It's like hard to know when they're coming. Because I'm already on. Look at that. What the fuck? I don't think you I'm can like shoot those skeletons. So like, can you get me? These, uh, damn it. One of these skulls hit me. I'm just gonna. Can you shoot the skulls? I'm just gonna give up. No, you can't. You can't shoot them. I'm doing something wrong. Fighting Skeletor first thing at 41. What do you mean you're doing something wrong? It's just hard. Maybe I, we should I'm quit and go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, streaming I'm, forever. I'm, <laughs> okay. I thought you've done this. What? Streamed a lot? <laughs> oh, you mean no, this... Like this fight fought this guy. Yeah, with my other character earlier today. Um, is he susceptible to a specific kind of damage? Uh, I think probably frost, but I don't think it, I don't know if it matters that much. But, um, yeah, maybe I have a frost weapon. I got a lot of lightning. Hold on, let me switch some shit up. I mean, my Go character fire. does frost damage, though, so I should just put this skill on again. There we go. See what I can do, but I gotta be close. I gotta watch out for all the beams and shit. Okay, I'm gonna go in there. Are you ready? No, no, you're one second. Okay. Uh, We're just watching Nate look inward and choose his skills. Uh, Alright. Casting. Self cast around the owner slows enemies. That's not what I want. Hold and release the cast. It's a. Uh, Critical damage. Is that heal? I want a healing thing. Okay. Is this guy flesh? I think he's bone, but I mean. I think whatever it does your highest damage to, it just. But. I mean, the main thing is watching out for those fucking beam things. The uh, yeah. the wave, you gotta jump over just right, and then the circle things. You know what I found when I played earlier is watch the floor. Yeah. Well, that's the thing is that beam has like a buffer beam in front of it that's also blue. Mm -hmm. You want to jump out of that. And then there's like guys. Yeah. There's like dudes on the beam, and you can't jump over the dudes. You have to jump right. between the dudes. It sucks. Ready? Yes. Let's kill this fucker. Loving the late night stream, Timmy. Thank you. I'm going to be complaining it's quite a bit in a moment. Okay, here we go. Jumped it. All right. Yep. Made it Get out of the way of the holes. holes. All right. Did you make it through the holes? Dodged the holes. Made it through the holes. Okay, now Got I'm going to fucking hit him guys. with that. There we go. Here's the beam again. Okay. Ah, jumped it. Okay. Right. Here's the holes. Right. He hit me with something. Fuck, probably no, the, the green, green skulls. skulls and poison guys. And I didn't get hit with one. I still died. I got you. Still went down. I got you. Oh, here's a chest right here. I didn't even notice. Yeah, it. there's a couple of chests. God fucking damn it. Fuck you and you fucking bullshit. Fuck you. 
Ah, I didn't get you, did I? Didn't I? Know the, I didn't know there was a place on that. Damn it. I am so pissed off right now. Hold Fuck on, this. stay alive and I'll come. Are you alive now? Uh, I'm reviving. <laughs> Wait, I thought I had a. My guy has a. I'm dead again. Jesus Christ. This is very. This is not. It's gonna be not fun pretty soon. But let's, uh. Soon. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I can feel it stop being fun soon. But I gotta check my skills, because I think I have a thing about fight for your life. Let me see here. Let us never speak of that Let us never speak of that again. I agree. Okay. Dealing damage while in Save Your Soul partially restores the Save Your Soul meter. The more damage is dealt, the greater the restoration. Okay. I need to just give it a shot. Are you already in there, buddy? Uh, yeah. Fuck. Uh, yeah. Are you dying already? I didn't even know you were in there. Uh, well, we died at off thing, so I was trying to like come in. To, like, oh, okay. Let me. Oh, so we can keep it. In. Keep it up. Yeah. Okay. I'm coming in. Are you dead? I'm dead. Damn it. What? And right away, I get hit with these fucking green guys. And the green guys poison you with that. Oh, yeah. and heals. He heals himself. Yeah, that sucks too. I, mean, I knew that. that happened. Jesus fucking Christ, man. <sighs> so annoying. Are you coming in yet? Um, are I you could still use in? a friend. Huh? Yeah, okay. I need a machine then. I should not be doing this with fucking pistols. Can you get me? Ah, shoot. Oh, you got me! Thank you. I don't know if we can get him to stop fucking healing. God, this is hard. Fuckers, you just run away from him, I guess? I, I feel like getting closer. Yeah. Um, I, I had more survivability. Mm -hmm. Here comes a beam. Okay. Did he get you? Uh, yeah. Do you have a lady voice? Do I have a lady voice? Yeah. Does your character have um, a lady voice? Uh, I think you do. I have a. <laughs> um, I mean, that's a fine. Low T voice. A what? A low T voice. A low T voice? <laughs> You know what? My poison gun is working okay on him. Now he's gonna fucking heal himself. And I don't know if he can stop these purple things from healing him or what. Are you dying and I didn't even notice? Yeah. Motherfucker, uh, I'm sorry. Okay. It went quick for some. It went yeah. way quicker than that. Yeah. It does. Yeah, I wonder, if, how do you stop the purple stuff? I don't know. Uh, if you can get in here sometime soon before right, I die. I'm coming, I'm coming. Yeah. That way we can shoot keep the, the momentum. Shoot the to stop the heal, somebody has said. Yeah, but I tried to shoot him. Ah, motherfucker, stupid Stay fucking alive. moves. Get in here. Huh? If Man. you can get in here, that would be appreciated. I'm trying not to be me. Alright. Yes, thank you. I want you to heal me, but I forgot to heal you. You know what? I can be like that. It's my fucking birthday. <laughs> okay. No. Okay. Did you die? Oh, damn it. Are you it dying? Went. That, yeah, bounce me back. Fuck. Pop the purple orbs when he goes immune to prevent him from healing. I just read a guy that's supposed to Do these guys, do head. either one of these people know this, or are they saying that because it seems like a good thing to do? Because well, I'm trying to do that. Man read, read a guy, Okay. Cow Love a Moo Moo said happy birthday. Thank you, Cow Love a Moo Moo. Professor Marth lives said happy birthday. Timmy. Thank you, Professor Marth. Louie Brad said happy birthday. Timmy. Oh my god, we had to start over. We almost got to keep it up. Motherfucker. Oh, he did the other one this time. Jesus Christ. Okay. Damn, I missed that one. Jeez, I went down like a fucking bitch. Oh, I just went down too. Fuck, man. Well, one of us should give up, I guess, when this happens. I'm, I'm going down so fast. Okay, well, you can hold down X and die. Yeah, it's so fast. Can't kill the green skulls, just gotta dodge them. 
Yeah, I was having better luck when I got really close. Like yeah, I was, I was trying to get further that. back. I couldn't dodge on. Thank you for everyone saying happy birthday. I'm going to ram my head through this TV screen in a few minutes uh, to celebrate. So instead of giving me myself, uh, instead of getting 41 spankings, I'm going to put my face through the TV because I'm mad at this game two shotguns on for being too hard. Be you have two shotguns? Okay, I need something that's, I need something automatic-y, but I don't think I, well, yeah, I do. Okay, let's do something like that. Let's do this. This is a good idea. Okay, let's do... All right, let's try this yeah. gun situation. Are you going oh, in there man, yet? These, no, there's. No, the, we've been, we've been here fun. so long that the mobs came back. Jesus fucking Christ. Everybody else see that mushroom guy's supple muscled ass? They have very <laughs> they have very nice buds. Just like when I'm playing Doom, the pink demon guys from the original Doom? Great asses. In fact, one of the times I was playing we got into a room where I was behind a bunch of them and we just like took a screenshot and talked about their asses. Are you ready to go in? No, one sec. Okay. Uh Oh my god, there's a little chat icon of some wiggly monster bots. That's amazing. Ooh. Should we go? Oh, uh, you're not yeah, ready. I just saw that. I was like, oh, I've got some upgrades that I should have been using uh, a while ago. Um, oh, you mean like skill points? Wards. What does that mean? Huh? Ward is your shield. Well, when somebody says highly effective versus wards. That means that means it's probably electricity, but that means it'll help their shields come down. I don't think this guy has shields, but. Yeah. All right. You ready? Yep. Let's go fucking get killed. <laughs> oh God damn it! I immediately fucking up all over the place. Okay, here comes this pink shit, I think. There they are. Here they come. Oh, we can I think we can shoot them. I won't shoot him, but I don't think I really killed him. Ah, fucking babes! Now, the green stuff was easier to dodge running towards the guy. Okay. Okay. Hey, we're actually kind of hurting him. Uh, I fucked myself right there. Oh, pink shit, pink shit. I uh, healed himself a good bit. Are you dying? I'm dead. Where are I you? Just, Where are I you? I just went down. Uh, behind you in the back. Okay. I'm going to try and come to you. No! No! Gotcha. Motherfucker! Okay, can you save Don't me save now? <laughs> I hate this guy so much. It's so slow. It's so slow. I'm gonna write a letter to somebody about this. Who do I write a letter to? <laughs> oh, God damn it, I'm down again. Keep Are you going. really? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can I? I, I, I God, fucking I shit. It. God damn it. Dude, we're so close. Okay, did you give up? Get back in no, here as quickly I, as I you can. We almost have him right, dead. Right. What? Are okay, you, are you coming are back you? in? Fuck. <laughs> Dude, there's multiple people coming in and I'm like, I didn't know you guys streamed. What's up? Uh, yeah, we, we have a stream. You can also watch our VODs. Nathan, are you in there? Not yet. <sighs> okay. I'm here. Did he reset his health? Uh, they definitely did. 
If if you okay, so if you if one of us goes down before the other one, give up and get back in there as soon as possible. All right. Um, you know what I think it is? Um, that this game sucks and it's stupid and I never should have bought it. What what'd you say? Sorry. <laughs> Uh, it's later than you guys normally stream. Yeah, 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 totally. That's definitely my favorite. I was thinking the same thing. Alright, I'm, uh... Are down you dying already? Where are you? Up. Okay, I'm gonna get you. Don't give up. Or you can give uh, up. You but... said give up? Okay, what I meant is if we're both down... Okay. Give up, uh... But if I... I mean, yeah, it's maybe a good rule of thumb to just give up when you can, because... <laughs> Like, we just need to get in, you know, we need to get back in there and save the, uh, before the other person dies, so that yeah. we don't reset the guy's I'm fucking back. health meter, you know what I mean? Right back, yeah. That jumping health, uh, frozen blade shit that I do is very good. Pink stuff, pink I'm, stuff. I'm, sh I'm working on it. God damn it. Are you in, you're in here again, yeah, okay. Yep, yep. Oh, fuck. He got a good amount of it. Got some of it, yeah. Oh, come on, give me my fucking thing back so I can hit him. Foul mistress. Alright. Yeah, I called you a foul mistress video game, that's fucking right. Okay, pick things, pick things. Pink stuff, pink stuff. God damn it! Uh. Fuck, reloading, reloading, shit, reload faster. I think we stopped something that time. He's got less than half. We can do this. Fucking this circles! <laughs> God, I hate geometry! Okay. Oh, you motherfucker. I can do it too. Oh, I got poison. This is not good. That's okay, we just killed him. Where are you? Oh, you alive? Oh, I died. You did not die. You're in I here. Did, oh, you're I'm down. Dead. You're not dead. Stay put. Stay put. Stay put. Is that your spell, these dragon heads over here? Fuck yeah. Uh, I have a <laughs> yeah. dragon, yeah. Yeah, we killed a guy, right? Yeah, we, we, we beat him. Uh, See, this is the only problem with technology and streaming is I can't high-five you right now. I'd high-five the shit out of you right now. You know what I mean? Or high five the shit out. Do we we probably headbutt a little bit? <laughs> like Wesley Willis style, where I don't hurt you but there might be a bruise. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. Say rock, rock, rock. say bro. Well now my inventory's full and I have all this dope shit. Hold on. Yeah, well throw out anything white and if you throw out all the whites, throw out anything green. I got the fear not of the champion. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> Do you remember? We all remember No Fear t shirts. Well, except for the young people. Uh, the No Fear t shirts, right? Remember No Fear, Nate? Yeah, oh yeah. And then there was like the Bible kids had like the Bible version. Well, was that, that was like, it was called Fear Not or. Fear Not. Something like <laughs> that. It was some God shit stuff. <laughs> and it was just like, dude, just get a No Fear shirt. Just enjoy something please just enjoy one thing please <laughs> get your own no fear welcome thing. back to mean but true okay um wild mages pandemic pandemicium of the savage pugilist <laughs> i wish i was hilarious. this combination of classes i can't believe we did it dude we fucking killed that motherfucking piece of shit I was Walker I was London. mad at him when I beat him earlier today too. I can't imagine when I'm in here fighting with my daughter. I'll be like, listen, if you don't follow my instructions here, you're grounded. Uh, I don't um, care. Do you remember Sam was talking about uh, uh, the big dogs T-shirts yes. earlier yeah, on yeah, the stream? Yeah. Are you ready? To, are you ready to go out of this room? Yeah. Because we're gonna turn in the mission. I'm gonna go to sleep. But uh, okay. yes, please tell me uh, what about the big dog shirts? Oh, he, the big dog shirts were so funny. Um, yeah. He watched, he looked at a bunch of, he found them and like was looking at them. The ones that um, he and Trevor were going to make? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we saw the graphics. Was, they're pretty funny. <laughs> they're pretty stupid. 
Like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna vaccinate my kids. Vaccinate them with my lipstick-looking dog dick. Big dogs. <laughs> that is funny. Oh, wait, we gotta turn turn in the mission to Zosef. Oh, no fear. The religious version was called Only God. Yeah, there's that, but there was also like fear. There was one with fear in it, but it might have just been yeah, Only God written in fucking no fear font. I think Sam looked into it, and he was just like, you know, nobody wants to like, like get caught um, in like a weird legal thing with somebody that owns the brand for the sole purpose of like suing people, you know. Yeah, there's some, there's some like overly tan, like so tan that he's red. Uh, dad in khaki shorts with sandals, who drinks just the worst beer. And owns the rights to Big Dog T-shirts, and no. you know, if he fa if Sam makes his shirts, he'll find out about it. He'll slap his kids around a bunch, and then he'll sue Sam. That's what'll happen. He'll pu he'll punch a lady who does. He'll punch some lady, you know. You know what I mean? I'm talking about like those like those red faced yelling drunks with yeah. buzz cuts you see at music festivals. That's the kind of person they, they that owns. They have like raccoon eyes because yeah. they're like wearing sunglasses. Yeah, so much. those are the yeah. guy. That kind of guy is the person who owns the rights to Big Dog T-shirts, right? Yeah. It's like he bought the rights off like a friend of his, but he doesn't do anything with it. His name is like Chet like Matthews. That he owns. Yeah. Yeah, he's a yeah, piece. Like, dude, money, so you know what? Prices, so like, you know what, Nate? Fuck that guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I agree with you. That guy fucking but, sucks. I mean, and again, I'm I'm with chat being like, fuck it, you know, like do it anyway. But the the problem is, whitest kids, multinational conglomerate LLC. Uh, now, you missed, you forgot the business company. But yeah. Oh, business company. Whitest yeah. kids, business company, international conglomerate LLC. Conglomerate LLC. Now it's like you guys have this uh, movie, you know, that you're working on. Yeah. You know. Oh, this we um, take this back. So it's a little bit dodgier. Yeah, we can't just. We but can't if just you're like, hey, Sam, can I make these and sell it? Because it's like, it's not like, you know, Sam's, like, the idea is there. I'm sure Sam would be like, hey, if you want to make them, fucking go for it. But, you know, I think Sam thinks it's funny, but, you know, it's not like. But it's possible. Um, I don't know. I don't know what Sam's thoughts are. I'm not my brother's keeper. Hey, get it? Literal. Who? Um, I think we did all the missions in this mushroom world. Or no, we didn't do Don Quixote yeah, yet. We won't worry about it. We won't worry okay. about Don Quixote. And this is not the mushroom world. There's a way more mushroomy mushroom world. This is plant world. Oh, those are flowers. Okay. Oh, there's a rocket from when the ocean got blown up. That's funny. Oh, where? Right there in the tentacles. You saw the ocean get blown up, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Dude, how Imagine funny is that is scene? When they blow yeah. up the ocean in this? I thought we were getting on a boat, and I was like, yep. this is really sick. Fucking like, oh. hilarious. Yeah, no one expects that. Why would you ever expect that yeah. to happen? <laughs> That's why it's really funny that they established that this is like people playing a game, and that one and that the DM is crazy, you know? And so it's like, yeah, literally anything can happen in this game. Like, what happens to the unicorn? Uh, Trevor's sister is telling me, she's like, yeah, we were letting our daughters watch us play this game. And then when that happens to the unicorn, they were, like, upset. She was like, you can't watch <laughs> this part. Because it's upsetting. It is. Yeah, 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 you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Because yeah. the, the color drains out of it. Yeah. Kind of like and when my daughter, oh, yeah. Lila was saying, I can't let my daughters watch that because they'd be upset. Because I told her that I was playing it. I'm playing this with my daughter. And we were both playing it. And then that happens. And we were both like. Because, of course, everything's funny and crazy and silly. But also, they just. That's the good thing about these games. They can do that tonal shift and just yeah. be like, now this is sad, you know? And they'll likely, you know, like, tonality-wise, like, as you're saying, like, I feel they'll just retcon it, you know, at some point and be like, and... They and, might not, though, because that's the other yeah. thing with Borderlands games is when they first introduced this concept of playing the RPG, of playing the tabletop role-playing game, Tiny Tina was doing it to cope with the death of one of the other characters. They've never brought him back. Oh, you know yeah. what I mean? Like so, they kind of they kind of uh, 
do the emotional thing sometimes, so it's kind of hard to tell what they'll do. <laughs> Deja says, like how large Marge from Pee Wee's traumatized me as a kid. I still think about it to this day. Totally. I, I, I totally, yeah. I would like close my eyes. And now I've seen it and I'm like, oh, it's like claymation silliness. Yeah. It's still fucking scary, though. <laughs> like, in a way, you know. My childhood trauma um, was watching Poltergeist as a little kid, yeah. being like, uh, so every time I would see static on the TV, I would be scared. And back in those days, that happened all the time. Now we don't even think TVs do static anymore, right? No, it's just blue screen. Um, okay. I guess um, I should leave. I think we made a lot of progress. I think we uh, streamed for seven hours. Six and a half. Shout out to everybody. Everyone, hold on. Great. Listen to my muscles and bones pop and crack as I get up. Oh. <laughs> and then I that stretch and you see a little bit of my fucking love handles on stream. Oh, God. What I have noticed is getting older is I have to stretch all the time for just, like, living. Well, and then Sam, okay, Sam ran a fucking half marathon today and was like, I need to stretch later. I'm like, dude, I didn't even notice, like, if I had run a half half marathon earlier and then got on stream, you guys would know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I have marathon, God, help me. Yeah. You know? Sam's just like, oh, by the way, I ran a million miles today. We're like, Jesus Christ. That's always, like, been my most admirable thing my you know what i've admired most in sam is that like he'll just do stuff well yeah you know, like, and, and i mean the the marathon thing like we had a real crazy party weekend writing season two and then yeah. afterwards sam was like i'm gonna take down the whole party and lifestyle a notch and i'm gonna start running and and then he i kept running and running yeah. and running remember he remember remember this like he well actually i don't even know if you remember because like when he started writing he started smoking cigarettes like as like part of the writing process we all did because we were all hanging out smoking cigarettes all the time <laughs> and when you guys finished that writing that one season you started running to quit smoking <laughs> yeah well it's because like yeah. we all got hammered at that house we yeah. rented <laughs> you and uh, lapizzi were there and we were just all getting fucking faced all the time remember we were going to zachary's and stuff the strip uh, joint oh my god yeah, that was insane huh yeah, that scarred me. Yeah, because your mom came with us to the strip joint? Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, I remember I stayed out in the car, and then it was, like, fucking too cold. I was like, all right, I'll come in. But I'm not going to be in the same room as everyone else. You don't want to be in the same room as your mom and a yeah. bunch of naked women? <laughs> Full. Yeah, That's okay. Like you know, from what like, I said, oh, cool. remember, like, 14 like, hours ago? Community, like, what, what were you yeah. saying? Sorry. Oh, just, like, my mom smiling staring at this lady split beam being like she's had a baby it's split like, oh, beam do you remember rick, uh, rick d's in the weekly top 40 split beam in the weekly top 40 <laughs> uh yeah but okay so you know the story i told 17 or 18 hours ago about being at eyes wide show with my mom you guys that that does trump that you and sam having your mom with you next to literal physically present naked ladies at a strip club and your mom's there like look at their vaginas yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what a time okay let's be done what am i doing i mean oh you eagle says rage shadow bambi can you are you able to do that nate or should i do that um i, I don't actually have you don't have hand on it right now i'll do it hold on Shadow just, what? You can do it right in the um, chat. Just slash I know. Uh, raid Shadow Bambi. Slash and Raid and then space Shadow Bambi? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to jump this. Timmy, happy birthday. I'm excited. Someone says, how is that never? Oh, what? Sorry? What? I'm excited for Trailer Boys. Yeah, it'll be fun, man. I need to, I'll, I'll study up on the Kung Fu films. Someone asked, uh, how is that never a sketch? Well, we're the stripper. Was our us channeling all that bizarre strip club energy into a sketch? That's what that was. Yeah. So it kind of was. Sometimes when you think you're going to write a sketch about an experience, you don't write about the specific experience. You write something else using the energy from that experience. Um, okay. Slash what? <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I think Shadow Bambi. So I I do raid and then slash. I really don't know. Yeah, no, no. Um, like uh, forward slash next to shift, raid, okay. space, shadow. Shadow Bambi. Bambi. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you eagle just put it in chat. I just did it like that. Is that right? Um. This channel is intended for mature audiences. Is it gonna let me do it? I'm not gonna be. Able I think to do so. It. I'm, gonna I'm gonna have to go in. And, I'm gonna have to go in and do it. Oh no! Here we go. We're we're ready. Two more seconds. Wait, is this like a hot lady? Is this like a sexy one? It said mature audiences. Am I gonna get in trouble? No, we're fine, right? It's late night. Let's have a sexy I mean, I time. Said split B, like ten. Yeah, you just said ago. split B. Yeah, we we we're talking about tits like all day. <laughs> well, thanks for watching six and a half hours of me talking about boobies, everybody. Have a good night. I'm forty one <coughs> now, and uh, yeah. Nate, I love you. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Yeah, yeah man. Happy birthday. birthday. I'll see you Thank tomorrow. Thank you, Bill. Adios. Bye bye. <laughs>